Whoa! Hi, everyone. Are we good? My camera better now? How we doing? How we doing? Is everything broken because of a name change? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no official stream today. No official stream. We are... We're out here on our own. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You want me to see if I can fix Nightbot quickly? Let's see. Oh. This is the official stream. Yeah, they, they used the wrong name. They used the wrong name, so I just had to, you know. Mm-mm-mm. Does anyone know where the setting would be on Nightbot? Hmm. Maybe if I just log out and log back in. All right, try now. Try now. Give it a little whirl. Oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I don't know if they're going to stream the... <clears throat> oh, wait. Am I meant to have a delay? Shit. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, hold on. I don't, uh, I'm asking about the Twisted Game as well. Because uh, I don't think anyone's requested the Twisted Game. Yeah, am I going to have to restart? Am I going to have to restart the stream? Uh, everything was going so well. By which I mean everything was broken. Is there any way around this? Probably not, right? Probably not. Yeah, everything's going to be broken. Yeah, yeah. My capitalization is also broken because of the um, <laughs> because of the name change. Like it, it kind of just reset everything on the account type thing. Um. <laughs> so it says it's connected right now. Hold on. Commands custom. Hi PGR. How was the highs? I'll go. Um. Commands, custom. Feels like it should be fine. Uh, commands enabled. What if I try it? Didn't mean to type it in capitals. Fuck. Nightbot mutiny. Am I going to have to go off and on again? Let's see. Mm-mm-mm. Preds for today? Hold on. Someone said there should be a change to the Twitch name in the stream as well. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, um, I have to go. <laughs> Everyone, wait here a second. Wait, hold on. Everyone, wait here a second. <laughs> wait. Uh, I'm going to have to be right back. I'm going to have to be right back. I'm just going to get told off, aren't I? Fuck!
<laughs> All right, fuck me. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna be right back, okay? Hold on. Might even, maybe it fixes Nightbot, right? Maybe it fixes Nightbot. You're gonna have to wait two minutes, unfortunately. Fuck. Host Boga. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Um, and everyone's going to have to... You're going to have to deal with a delay. So I can't answer questions, but it's also just going to be very slow. So I kind of I kind of have to... Probably, I kind of just have to do the show then, right? Just have to do the show. Um, and you guys... Um, you guys will hopefully... Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me just... Oh, hold on. Everything is so... <laughs> it's like a blessing and a curse getting all these things, right? Because like... <laughs> Everything's sort of better, but everything's now also different as well. So there's like a... Um, let's see. I want that one there. I'm having to like rearrange everything. Hold on. Manage poll. Stream not stream together. Raid maybe there. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let me just message. I'm going to message my admins. Uh-uh-uh. All right, let me just test. Drawing is good, right? Um, co stream in game looking good. Oh, am I back? I, obviously, I'm not real time, right? So what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit of a show for you. We'll talk about some stuff. We'll talk about some stuff. Let me do... Where is it? Let me go here. Let me go close that. Let me do this. All right. <clears throat> Looks like Nightbot has not been revived with me, though, however, which is obviously a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Getting, oh, getting notified by me all the time. All the time. Fuck. No commands. Yeah, I know Winston Warlord. So so I guess I guess what, what I should say is like shout out to Twitch, I guess. Because I emailed them this morning. I emailed them this morning and said, Hey, can you change the link? You get like a name change if your partner, right? So I was like, I'll use my name change here. Does it work? And they were like Yep, just want to make sure you're right. Can you just email us back to say confirm? And I was like, okay. Um, and they did it. It's happened within two hours. Like, I, ha yeah, I literally, I didn't send this email until, like, lunchtime. So it's honestly within, like, three, three hours, four hours. They've done it. So this is why everything's a little bit like, I wasn't expecting them to do it so quickly. I really wasn't expecting it to be here today. Uh, like, to be done same day within a few hours, like, very impressive turnaround there from Twitch support. But as a result, it means everything's broken and not been tested. So. <laughs> um, to answer Sofron's question, so obviously this was 90 seconds ago. <laughs> um, the reason it's on here is this is actually my YouTube overlay. I just sort of, like, use it for Twitch as well. Because it wasn't, um, wasn't worth, um, um... I didn't feel worth creating like an own unique one, you know. I might change it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to update it anyway, so I might, I might change it overall. Mm. Just watched the new one, Coach episode. It was great. Thank you very much, Snooky. Actually, thought it was a good one. Thought it was a good one. Three hours forty. Was it three hours forty-eight in the end? A big one. A big one. So the way today's gonna work is we're gonna be in the lobby. We're gonna be in the lobby for. My pen working? We can see pen. Uh, gonna be in the lobby for this game. The Ah Yeah versus a Beaks team. My pen's a little bit big, but it's okay. So, <laughs> who should be the favorite here? It has to be a Beaks team, right? A Beaks team actually were a part of a, a big four. A Beak four. So, 
you have to expect that they're going to win. I think this group in general, like, uh, obviously, uh, Metal Boys is a Team Poland team, if you don't know. So I think they're maybe, like, on the bottom end. But between these other three teams, I really think we're looking at a situation where this could go any, any of the ways. So... This game, I think, is crucial. Any game that is going to be between these three teams is going to be crucial because only two of them can get out. So Group D is, I think, by far, by far the most interesting group. For the next, for the second game, we're going to be on EXO Super Shy. So obviously, EXO, I think, are still significant favourites. But we need to see... Um, Super Shy could give them a bit of a run for their money. I think there's a lot of the Super Shy players I like. I like Rajaro. I like Takuno. I like Sobek. Um, even Will is okay, you know? <laughs> um, Zoro, I think, is a really good hit scan as well. Hold on, Moxie's just messaged me saying, "Is our oh, year's game showing as cancelled for you in the matchroom team? Not in the matchroom. Just open everything in my life works out." Oh, just got an invite. All right, where are we going? Are we accepting this invite? We're in. All right, now, and I want to give a very special shout out at this point to Solomon. Because Solomon, um, oh, hold on. Just got an invite now. Wait, I've just said that twice. I think I'm having a stroke. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, some kind of command or something. Um... <laughs> Kaya clears? Might do. <laughs> you some kind of arsehole? <laughs> yep. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> it can happen. Well, I'm not sorry, but you know. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> every lobby I go in. Every lobby I go in, huh? Um, Can I put something on the screen to say two minute delay? Bossy today, aren't we, GB? Do this, do that. I can't believe she's asked me to literally do one thing. Oh, we're going in as well. Two men delay. Um, put it there. Whoa! I just got out of studio mode for a second, and it's a little bit big, eh? A little bit big. Is that okay for everyone? Can everyone read? Any hands up if you're literate? Hands up if you're literate, everyone. Hands up if you're literate. I've just realized the nature of doing doing stuff like this where I say hands up if something or do this if that is very, very ineffective <laughs> with the delay. Very ineffective. Um, <clears throat> so, 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 we're locking in for this one. Let right, me just check everything's working because obviously there isn't elements of everything slightly changed, everything's slightly new. I'm going to trust, trust in the mods that the predictions will be handled correctly and we'll be locking in to the actual game. So let's talk a little bit about these teams, right? Oh yeah, they have a one-trick team. The red team, if you've not met them before, Kaya is Mr. Junkrat. Ken's a bit flexible. Chasm, Chasm is a ball player. So we'll wait and see how it goes. We'll go, oh, swing straight out to coast hit. So thank you again to Solomon for the HUD. Looks crispy clean, means I don't have to update the scores. Or more importantly, I don't have to forget about updating the scores. So we're going to see Ice on the Orisa here. Eluya, Eula. I think that's Bayer, right? That's Bia. Bia, Bayer. Anyway, Ken's going to get the opening pick onto a beak. Ice has gone super all in. He's just going to get chewed up right now. They're going to try and follow up on this, but they only get one trade. And looks like, oh yeah, going to be holding strong. Holding strong. On paper, I think a beak team should be the favorite, right? They came into this as fourth seed. <clears throat> One thing that's always true is you never, you can never count the one trick 
the one trick uh the one trick team out we're gonna see kaya get forced down from the high ground and beak and lauren now on that angle for themselves now one technique now a lot of teams have done against aya is just play better dps so just play something like a tracer echo something that can just duel and outmatch um especially the junk rat quite a lot something that can punish the ball but also one thing that aya have that really helps them thank you phil forever let's appreciate the prime but one thing that really helps them is the fact that ken can play i guess what we'd call like normie heroes you know he can play the cassidy um and what that allows is obviously the fact that all these like echo or other stuff that they want to play is somewhat countered by it but i'll stop rattling on because they've done the retake we've done the retake here um and it will be now on our oh, yeah to come back in they're gonna have to try and push past this terror surge they do have both support ops coming up so actually a pretty pretty trademark support line in terms of Lucio Kiri coming out from our boy cool boy and Sipe. Mine's gonna come in. We'll force a back step from a Beaks team here. We're gonna try and deal with everyone behind. Oh thank you Wolfrobs. Early kill on Kaya actually and this Kitsune Rush goes nowhere. Ice has gotten this terror surge as well if they get any closer he can just finish it. Kitsune Rush in response from a Beak. I don't know if they needed that one. And yeah, well, the trainers left the station, much like, oh, yeah, have left this Kitsune Rush. It'll be a Kitsune Rush for a Kitsune Rush. Thank you again, Wolf Fobbles, for the sub. And Chasm's going to get caught here. Riptire coming in. Where's it coming? Where's it coming? It's underneath. It's coming for the back line. It's going all the way around. Lauren's got eyes on it. Oh, it still gets him. They can't stop the tire. Like something out of Jaws. It keeps on coming. It keeps on coming. And now, they're back in control. Kaya always gets his one. Always gets his one. Now, coming through the left-hand side. They will... Oh, they actually kill Sipe. A beat's going to TP back on. Oh, Slam is going to get him in big trouble. Lauren's now going to drop it. Pulse Bomb's good from Psycho. They drop a beat as well. So, it, honestly, it's a pretty heavy-handed retake. Three ults there. But they have a Terra Surge still from this last one. But Cool Boy with this beat advantage for Arya coming back. So a great opportunity to get something done. To play more aggressive than they will. And it has to be said. Has to be said that. Um, has to be said that. So far, Ice has done a pretty good job. It feels like Chasm's impact has been fairly minimal. He's going to go in and get a slam of force out here. Kaya is on the high ground. Remember, they do have... They do have this beat. Kaya's not going to get the beat, but maybe that's not a problem. Ice was walking forward with this Terra Surge. Still kills Ken anyway. Kaya's going to have to get the touch. He's 1v everyone. Ty, uh, Trap's going to be taken care of. Mine's on point now. Javelin comes in. Ice just chews him on up, and it's actually going to be a pretty comfortable first round in the end here. Pretty comfortable first round. Now, hold on. You were saying the HUD's not quite lined up, right? Is that? Let me see. I need for things to come up again. Ready for battle. All right, I think that might be good. Hold on, I'm trying to like, you know, when you're trying to align pixels, and if anyone works in like a, a kind of format like this, they'll know what I mean. All right, I think it's okay now. I think it's okay. I think some of the problem might be I need... I've gotten that stuff top left, which is causing, like, a bit of ugliness. Um, but anyway, we can we can have another look in the break. We can have another look in the break. And now they're going to be coming close. Pretty similar comps here. Kai is still going to be on the junk rat. Well, doesn't actually take the high ground early. And Ice is just jumping on him. Kai is going to get in the tunnel. It's a trampoline party. Kai is just going to keep going up and down he's actually hit like a he's hit a nade onto a beak here and it's going to force him all the way back ken's looking for the finish but they managed it well they managed to survive for a little bit but kai is going to get the finishing blow and it's all back to the drawing board now in theory junkrat should be really hard on city center who would play junkrat on city center my man kaya would my man kaya would also a lot of a, be a lot better map for ball as well it has to be said so they'll be holding on to the high ground here. Chasm will make uh, it really difficult to take this high ground at all, honestly. Just trying to play through point here. Ice is going to try and bully Chasm off. They actually drop to the low ground here. Kai is trying to come around his right-hand side. Ice happy just to bully this ball around. Slam comes into a beak. Lauren's going to help a beak clear that one. They're still trying to hold on to point here, but oh, they... 
They've just been pulled apart. Chasm's going to get chased down on one side. Cool boy chased on the other. And they get the flip. Now, Kaya has to be careful. He's still trying to hold on to this high ground here. The Tracer wants to come up. No way! <laughs> Psycho thought he was getting the drop on Kaya, but Kaya was getting the drop on him. Kaya's not done yet. One air shot. A beak has to use Suzu. A beak's here again. A beak is so low. Desperate peel coming in from Eula, but Kaya is on the flank. He's hunting him. Has to try and avoid this Sojin. Full rail is fair. Lauren is low, though. Nade's coming in. Lauren's just going to hide. Desperate to try and get their health back up. Now the Riptire. They're not done yet. He's looking for more. He's doubling back. He knows he's coming. Oh, Psycho hits for recall. Kaya will be okay. They've managed to flip the point in all of that. And oh yeah, are back in control. Thanks to some stylish, some stylish opening picks from Kaya. And now, Chasm's going to get caught again before the point comes out. Kitsune rush from Aya to try and hold on to this one. Kaya is dancing around the pillar on top. Lauren's going to swing with this overclock. Kaya's just going to try and fight it. Suzu is good. Kaya's just taking on this overclock. Kitsune rush and overclock. One for one trade. Unbelievable when Kaya gets a one for one trade when two ults were used to help Lauren in that one. It's not going to be enough, though. Despite that trade, they still lose the point, but it ends up being relatively expensive. Now, even beats Mines on the side for Chasm. Pulse Bomb up for Ken as well. Obviously, Ken and Chasm, when, when Ken's playing the ball, can actually play a pretty traditional version of this um, uh, ball tracer dive here. Put a lot of pressure. Try and get this Suzu out of a beak early. They're holding quite close here. Ken's on the right-hand side with Pulse Bomb. Trying to work his way through. Chasm's going to get the initial touch. Slam's going to come in. Oh, no! It's good Suzu. Good Suzu from a beat to make sure that beat lands from the Euler. But it's it's not a great beat in all honesty. And now a chance for a much later beat from Coolboy. They can go in here. If they can find something with this beat, they can just go on it. Ice is going to be low. Here we go. Chase down onto the Orisa now. Nowhere for Ice to go. Surely they can convert this kill. Slam to seal it. Retake's starting to look good for Oye. They've got the opening pick. They need to keep going into this corridor. There we go. Ken's going to finish off Lauren as well. Should just be straightforward from here. Don't want to give the flip for free. They'll all die on point now. And we're going to get down to one final fight. Oh, yeah, have to win this fight. And well, well. I know a man who has a rip tire. He might be in your house with said rip tire. And he might be coming to ruin your day. Laying down the mines. A beak nearly has this Kitsune Rush. Diva coming out now. Doesn't want to let Kaya play. Lauren's now onto the Echo as well. Now, Echo matches up very nicely against it. Kaya drops the Riptire. Comes straight round. Doubling back. Catches Psycho. Happy with that one. Kaya. Still going. Back on point now. They do have control of a point here. Oh, the Echo comes over the top. Ice. Ice and Lauren able to team up on that one. A beak's getting hunted down by Chasm. Chasm and Kenvo, and they might just be in more trouble. Pulse Bomb onto Ice, makes him low. They're still trading out, but Ken's good for it. Ken and Chasm still going strong. Ken wants to take on Psycho now. The Mines will come in. Psycho's 1 HP. No pocket for him. Ice is out of mech. Chasm's going to do it. Cool Boy's going to get the finishing blow. Oh, yeah, not done on this one yet. Lauren doesn't have the copy. Oh, yeah, forcing it. Forcing it to another round. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm just getting some notifications, so I'm just checking everything is okay. <laughs> Reminder that as a co-streamer who is in the in-game lobbies, please do know your in-game chat to communicate with the competing teams. Even if I want to call one of them an arsehole, Trev, can I get an admin verdict on is it okay if I if I to communicate in chat if I need to call someone an arsehole? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> they've actually announced me in the OWCS server. So they haven't put my Twitch link in. But they used, they used the underscore. One, round three. Capture. <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> For the announcement. Keeping you on your toes. All right, lock it back in. Decisive round is Gardens. Kaya is going. Where is Kaya going? He's taken Lauren down. It's actually a reasonable trade, I guess. What is happening? 
And they still need to get into the rest of off high ground. They can take their time, though. They're going to force the recall out. Psycho's back on the high ground. They can go at a certain point. They have to be careful here because Ice wants to get frisky with the back line. But they take care of Eula first. And they manage to hold. Manage to hold. Now, back on point. Oh, yeah, are in control. Kaya laying down that suppressing fire. The artillery is raining down as Ice is going to start forcing points. Slam comes into the back line. Pressure onto a beak. Forces them all to turn for Chasm. Ken's just coming now, though. A little bit of a decent kill. And actually, Lauren's going to be able to clean up Ken. Meanwhile, Ice is just harassing these supports on point. Kaya can't clear him consistently. Lauren's trying to walk in, though. Has to be careful. One pipe's going to hit. Cool Boy's going in for the dive. Full pocket onto Kaya here from Sipe on the high ground. So Kaya's just raining down damage, but they're picking the players off on point. Eula's low, Lauren's low. Can anyone finish these kills? They're not quite, not quite able to find it. Kaya deals with the tracer, no problem though. Psycho in his back pocket, honestly. Psycho's not been able to get close to Kaya in this uh, in this opening round so far. And they gotta feel good about that one. Gotta feel good about that one. Now back in control. A Beaks team way out in his minds pretty safely. Chasm needs to get healing up as well, so he's going to be forced all the way out. And actually, our Psycho Man just to chase him, so they're looking for more Saggers here. Kaya's a little bit trapped. He can go out the far door here. They want to keep pushing him, actually. They force him all the way out, and oh, yeah, we're going to have to take have to take a break. Well, you know, a little, a little cool down. Now the tire comes in, actually. Following the tire, we're going over the roofs. It's coming in from the sky. Do they know? I don't know if Ice knows. Where's he going? He's hunting for more. Oh my god, he knows. Loose. Oh! Only half damage, though. Only half damage. A beat's going to drop this Kitsune rush on point. And the beat comes out. Double support all here. Really committing everything. A beat's team. But they need, so they need to win this fight. They're all over. Kaya beat's going to come in. It's, oh, it's a disaster beat from Cool Boy. And that might. That might be a heavy swing in the favor and that was the last of the ults as well from oh yeah an economic disaster now dps ults and a terror surge for a beaks team a scary scary situation a scary scary situation slam comes in Lauren, whoa! You, it nearly gets the boop off the map, but it'll be okay. They're putting pressure onto Ice. Ice does have this Terra Surge, but wants to use it aggressively, not just to live. He's going to drop it in. Ice doesn't get everything. He's going to die for it. Disaster with a Terra Surge, but this Pulse Bomb is good. Kaya will fall. Still has uh, a little bit of the rail going. Misses it there. Lauren's going to come back to the point with a beak. They're trying to clear it up. They can keep touching for a while here. Chasm's going to get one. They clear Psycho on the high ground. Now Lauren's getting poked out. And Kaya's going to be back soon. But we're back to full strength in a second. Ice is back on Doomfist. Can't find anything. Have to win this fight. Oh, yeah. No more room for error. Chasm's waiting for the Mega desperately. It's a little bit awkward for him. He's going to come for one more slam through. No. Marked by Eula. Chasm's in big trouble. But they kill the Doomfist. They can get the flip off that now. Oh, yeah. And they're hanging in. They're absolutely hanging in right there. Only one retake required. Ice is going to go over to D.Va now. Beat and Kitsune Rush available for this retake. Sipe's going to have it to uh, the Kitsune Rush, but he doesn't have it quite yet. He needs to live. He needs to live. Has to Suzu himself. He needs to TP away, but no good. Great beat push from Eula, and everyone's going to be able to clean up off the back of that, and that should just do it for a big team. Chasm's going to keep this point alive for a little bit. He did drop the mines. Can he get a late touch? Oh, he can get one more touch. Maybe two. Maybe two. He gets one more. He's going to die for it. Someone else needs to take over the touch now. The Riptire. The Riptire needs to touch. Ken's going to get the touch. Riptire finds nothing. Kitsune rush now. Can they keep touching? Cool Boy's got the touch. Oh, yeah. I'm not quite done yet, but they lose Sipe. Now the Kitsune rush from a beak. Beat from Cool Boy. Just a two man beat, though, to keep this one going. Kaya is back. Lauren's 1 HP. He's managed to slink away. Slam will come in. They're all so low. Kaya gets one. Overclock now from Lauren. He's getting pushed back. Now Ice comes, does shut down the junk rat, and that should be enough. Kaya has been neutralized. And a Beaks team. A Beaks team just about. Just about hold on. Uh, so this should be the beat push, I think. And this should be the beat push. Yeah, here we go. Nice two kills. Can he get a third vote? Can he get a Lucio gap on the go? Go on. 
Go on. There we go. Psycho finishes it for him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let me just check my ads. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just talking to uh, Trev's asking me about the um <laughs> about the name change. <sighs> the name change throwing everything into disarray. Everything into disarray. That was a little bit of a shame though, right? It ended, it ended up being that horrible situation, right? Where what what happens is they were so close in that final fight to the to the Kiriol and to the beat. Um, to the continue rush of the beat. And then the fight happens and they're like it was like 86% and 90%. Let me get let me accept this. Um So then because of that, obviously, they lose that fight, and the last fight such a a big, like, desperate stagger, everyone get the touch type thing. They don't actually get very good value out either of these support ults there, so they just miss their timing. Just miss their timing. We'll be going into the next map now, and interestingly enough, Chasm remains in. Kyra and Ken also remain in. The big four is alive and well. Oh, yeah, a beak, a beak hanging on in there. Let's see. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if response to my mods. Uh, see now. Oh, Sheesh. <laughs> what are we going? All right. So, yeah, in theory. I expect maybe more of the same here. I expect, especially when Chasm's in it over Isaac, I do expect to see more Tracer out of Ken, so he can just be sort of doing that bull Tracer classic kind of classic kind of dive, um, um, classic kind of dive situation. <laughs> um, thank you, Susie, Sutty, X Sutty. That's what I'm gonna go with. That's gonna be my final guess. All right. Now I'm hoping what this HUD should do is auto update. I'm really hoping the HUD auto updates. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Do you think it will refresh? Oh. Wait. Maybe not. Hold on, let me try and do a... Let me try and do this. I'm going to go quickly back to me, then quickly back here. Does it update? Solomon informed me this would update... Um, update automatically. Doesn't super seem like it's updating automatically, though. Uh, zap tab doesn't work for spectator. It's not a it's not a thing. Um, all right, thank you, Kavinity. But yeah, the the thing doesn't um <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, it feels like the score's not updating. Let me message Solomon quickly. I'll leave you on Kaya PV while I message Solomon. Um, there we go. Uh, hold up, hold up. Looks like an easy first point, though. Uh, uh, uh. Should I just turn the HUD off, then? I think just turn the HUD off, right? Let me try and refresh it. Sabotage by Solomon, I think. Sabotage by Solomon. So we'll just free ball it. Uh, we'll free ball it. Okay. All right. I'm locking back in. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, my mods can maybe take over a little bit with score updates here. Because the HUD... Um, 
Um, the HUD doesn't seem to actually have worked out as we were hoping it. Um, Solomon washed? Yeah. Solomon washed, unfortunately. Some people who aren't washed, though, are, of course, the... Oh, yeah, boys. After a disappointing first point, they're okay. And Kaya's actually in a really aggressive position here. Kaya has to be careful. Has to, has to, has to be careful. We'll be coming back now. Ice is going to try and cross. He takes a billion damage for it, but has the Mega available. Kaya is still aggressive. Hit Pulse Bomb lands on him, though. Kaya still gets his one, because, of course, Kaya gets his one. You can't stop him getting his one. Now, they're going to be... Given a little bit of space, I still has this mega control, but they're just focusing their attention on Psycho right now, trying to make his life hard. The rest of the rest of the beaks team gonna come and join him, try and force him out. Lauren is now back on the echo. This Kitsune rushes a little bit early. It's gonna be matched now by a beak, but oh yeah, are pretty much out of there. The mines over the top. B and Suzu used it. Only it only really pulls in Chasm, so he's gonna be okay. Push to force him back as well. Ken's got this over or the tail end of this overclock on the high ground. Doesn't find anything. Meanwhile, Kyra is trying to mark the echo. Most junks wouldn't feel. Oh, the trap! The trap is good! See you later, a beak! Kyra's always good. <laughs> but Kyra's got actually an unbelievable trap rate. An absolutely unbelievable trap rate. And that will give Ayev a big stabilization. Just out of nothing, that trap. That trap seals it for him. Now, again, they're going to have to do this difficult retake. Viresa here can get to car, but she can't really do much to clear a high ground. I don't know if at some point they just want to all go top. It's obviously a difficult one. It's just going to be a point force with the Orisa and the Tracer. Now the Riptide's going to come out. Where's he going? He's got the Echo in his sights. Kaya's good for it. Echo in the bin, and now they're going to turn and focus Ice on point. Ice is going to try and run away and live. They do actually get a Pulse Bomb trade onto Ken, so it's maybe not over yet. Psycho's looking for more. Psycho's got two. Psycho might just keep doing this. He's going to force the point as well. Free for Psycho. It looked like, oh, yeah, we're in control, but Psycho and Eula hadn't given it up. Now they can turn their attention to Chasm. Sipe's going to TP in. He has to, he has to get Sooner Rush. He's so low, though. He's going to die as well. And it's just a bit of a disaster for, oh, yeah. Chasm and Ken are able to get one, but they need so much more. Kaya's back soon. Mine's nearly available. Ken cleans up too. Cool boy trying to hold on point. Someone needs to touch now. Kaya's going to take over touch. He's 1v2, though. Sipe is back with a Kitsune, but Kaya needs kills. There's too many people. Ah, uh, and ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, crumble. Four-minute time bank now for a beast team. <laughs> now, on to Cassidy for Ken. This is where Bull starts to really feel like it's such a cramped and confined area. I feel like it's really difficult for the Bull to get a lot of value. And his mind is actually going to catch him off. Ice has a Terran Surge to live. He wants to live. He will live. They'll clear all the mines out. Tank ult for Tank ult. Not for value Ice would have hoped for that one, but he keeps himself alive. And most importantly, they have both support ults coming. They're going to come rolling through this Kitsune Rush, and they're actually just happy to wait this one out. A big scene. They use Copy. Now they beat forward in. They want to catch him. Kaya's trying to disengage. Lauren dies on this push. They're still going, but Kaya's got the high ground. Ken's good for a trade. A beak. A beak is trapped again. A beak can't stop getting in the traps. Psycho and Ice Vote are not done. Pulse Bomb misses onto Chasm. They're going to keep the cart moving, but respawns will mean they can't finish it here. A late kill onto Chasm would be big, but no pulse bomb. Oh, Chasm's going to go again. Oh, no, he's trapped. He's completely trapped. Uh, unnecessary stall from Chasm. Now we're going to try and get Kai onto the high ground. Rip tire coming round with Javelin. Oh, it's good. Good shot from Ice and Psycho finishes off that tire. No value. Still raining in damage from the high ground here. Everyone's taken Everyone's taken some, but they will be okay. They're going to all go turn on Sipe now. Sipe's going to TP out. They're having to deal with this Tracer behind right now. Chasm's going to come rolling through. And oh yeah, I've got a little bit of stability here. Even though they have to try and deal with this cast on the high ground. Window comes out as well. And honestly, they were kind of deep peaked already here. So Window's going to be a waste ultimately from Cool Boy. And the Beaks team can wait for their next opening, which might just be this Terror Surge. He wants to go on this Junkrat. He's got the Junkrat. Now he's going to turn his attention to point. Slam and Mines on point. Terror Surge doesn't catch all that much from Ice. He's still forcing point, though. Chasm has to come back to point. He's 1 HP. Somebody else has to take over the touch. Ice is going to walk into the mines. 4v4. Kitsune rushed defensively. Oh, yeah, should be okay now. They have to be careful. 
Was a tracer behind, but Kai's got that one on lockdown, and they hold. It was a four-minute time bank on third, but now all of a sudden it's whittled away. Over half of it has already gone. Not a lot of ults, though, for oh, yeah, Just for high noon. How do they get value out of this one? They kind of just need a little bit of magic from one of one of their guys. Kitsune rush and be available. They're going to be coming back in now for Beach Team. A chance to finish it here. Finishing with time obviously makes a big difference on hybrid. They come around the corner. High noon to start from Lauren. Kitsune rush over top as well. They still have this beat. They're going to drop the beat. They've used a lot of ults and got nothing but space so far. They need kills. Now the high noon in response from Ken. Chasm's going to be holding on and Ken finds one. Oh, Chasm will get traded here, but they're still on to point. They need to deal with this Orisa at some point. They were trying to keep Kaya alive, but Kaya is still alive. He's coming back. It's just a Lucio and Orisa. They're all over Ken. The pocket is good. Kaya's with them as well. Suzu is good. And oh, an absolute uh, bit of a disaster class with those ults there. They use the High Noon to take space. They use the Kitsune Rush to take the same space. When they beat to take the space they've still already got. They needed to commit past that space with one of those support ults or just hold on to the support ults until the contest comes in. Both would have been fine, but they do neither. And now all of a sudden, they've got to try and walk in versus a window versus a rip tire. All they've got is this terror surge. And so far, Ice's terror surge has been a little bit lackluster. Here comes that tire. Goes around the corner, focus down again. A little bit too soon from Kaya. They're just going to try and focus him down. Ice has taken a load of damage, actually. Ken's just going to kill him. And now... One down. Kai will get traded by his pulse bomb, but no tank, and they have to make their move. Chasm's just going to make their lives hell. Psycho's going to get the first touch. Window now. Psycho's in so much danger. Is anyone going to push Psycho? Psycho's able to stall his point out for so long. It's got to be illegal what Psycho's doing. Go get him off the point. Get Psycho off the point. Now they come back in. Psycho gets the kill. Ken's still going to trade one. Thanks to his Kitsune Rush. Chasm's pulling resources in the back. Psycho is still getting the touch. Now the boop in. Terror Surge and Mines. Lauren's in trouble. Just catches one of those Mines. Chasm should seal it. And it's a hold on second. It's actually a hold on second. Unbelievable. All right, let me do a... Um... Let's see if I can get a HUD update on the guy. Oh, wait. I think I know what happened, actually. I think I know what happened. Wait. 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 Oh, my God. I'm getting some kind of brainwave. Um, um, mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Hold on. The cogs are whirring in my mind. The cogs are whirring. We're in group D. EMEA group D. Matches. They said they had to remake for lobby, I think. So, um... Oh, wait, um, are they called Peace and Love now? Okay. Um, let's see. If I do that, and then I do this. Okay. 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 This is starting to look a little bit more like it, right? Oh, I've done it. It's because it's because Face It had to. I, I saw keyed on Artifact, but the reason we were a little bit like Moxie was asking why we weren't getting in was because the lobby had to be remade. So because the lobby was remade, the match page also changed. So because the match page changed, the URL that Solomon's thing connects to is different. <laughs> but overall, got to be really happy with that. Got to be really happy with that fourth point. Got to be so happy with it if you are. Yeah, now they have a chance. Now they have a chance. Chasm's gonna go all the way behind. He's sort of having a little bit of a little bit of a difficult situation. Psycho's gonna deal with that. Kaya's still trying to walk in. He's one HP, and this push kind of goes nowhere. And they'll stabilize. Again, Chasm is behind. Psycho's trying to mark him. You can see him putting a lot of attention onto him, just trying to make his life as hard as possible. Because their ball is behind as well, it means there's a little bit of a tricky time with it for Ken and Kai to walk up. Kai is going to take an aerial peep. Doesn't find anything. Oh, I'm just kidding. He's killed. He's killed for Kiriko. How has he killed for Kiriko from that position? 
You might wonder, but he's done it. Ice tries to make an aggressive move. They pushed all the way back. He's just going to get focused down, though. Ken and Kaya. The dynamic duo shut him down. Chasm's going to regroup with him, and it's going to be an easy one for oh, yeah, And I mean, realistically, can you, can, you, can you play a map? Can you play a map where you just rely on your Junkrat to get opening picks? You sure can. You sure can. Yeah, so they're now called Peace and Love as well. So I uh, try and remember that fact of that in. Uh, they changed their name last minute. They were originally just a Beaks team. Ice is going to get pretty frisky at this door with Kaya. Shuts him, keeps him pinned in for now. Chasm goes for the slam. No one really peeking with him though, so he's just been annoying for now. He's going to have mines in about 20% as these gates will open. Now the Kitsune Rush to keep this one moving. Psycho's still on an off angle. Kaya's going to try and take the high ground. Kaya's got the high ground. Chasm comes rolling through and it's Lauren who gets caught. Ken swings with High Noon. They've used two ults here, but they've got all the space. They still have to deal with Psycho behind. But they're now okay, actually. Chasm has to be careful. Lamp to save himself, but no. Psycho still kills Cool Boy. Psycho is behind. Kai will deal with him now. Chasm still rolling on the high ground. It's an awfully messy fight here. Kai has jumped up. A beak has to Suzu. Kai doesn't care. He's got another one anyway. Kai is just looking for more javelin in his face. We'll finally stop him, but the can't be moving this entire time, so it's really not the end of the world for our year. Finally, Peace and Lover able to get off this high ground. They can Kitsune Rush as well. Can they kill and Can they chase any of these kills? Chasm's going to drop mines, actually. He's not done yet. Pressure onto Eula. He has beat, but he's got so much pressure. A beak's going to go down. Is Chasm just killing the back line? Eula will survive, but he's completely separated. So no heals for Ice while any of this happens. Again, Psycho's at least good for one trade. They get the car moving. Lauren has this overclock on high ground. But they're taking it. Junk, jumping up, bap, jumping up. Big old flank from Lauren. Here comes the tire, though. Oh, my God. Tire, uh, flank has been taken care of. And now they can start forcing point. Cool boys with Ken here. They're trying to get them off. It's now a diva swap again from Ice. I mean, it's been pretty effective, the diva swap, but I think it's reasonable. They're going to catch all of these players, and the cart's dangerously close. Ice has to be careful he doesn't stagger here. A beak's gonna get juggled in the air, has to lamp himself. Now Chasm's coming for the hunt down. Chasm is all over a beak. A beak's gonna get finished off. Can they at least trade it? Can they at least trade it? Maybe not. They're getting harassed inside. Meanwhile, Ken is just nudging this point in. Beat to finish off this kill. Now they can repush. Lamp is good, but after this lamp, they're just gonna get absolutely swarmed. A final stabilization here. Final stabilization. And as, it, as the dust settles, we're looking at overclock, pulse bomb, self-destruct, lots of bombs on the go. Meanwhile, uh, power spike for, oh yeah, they're on Bap Kiri, which is a little bit of a um, an uncommon backline in, in this day and age. But if they can just maybe go right side or something, drop this Kitsune rush. Kaya, oh my god, he nearly just takes a beak. Jasm's actually forcing this C9 as well, so Psycho's just getting uh, harassed constantly. Lauren's going to get caught as well. They've just got both kills at the same time. How on earth did Kaya kill Psycho? But the nades are just coming from across the map. And now the point is wide open. Kitsune rushed to force it in. And oh yeah, we're going to have a pretty comfortable time bank on this third point. Ice is going to get one final touch. He's going to get deleted. Self-destruct comes out. Nowhere for Ice to go. Lamp from a beak onto point. Pulse Bomb's good from Psycho, but the cap has gone through. The kills don't matter anymore. They're going to be happy. The trap gets a kill because of course the trap gets a kill. And oh yeah... We'll be cleaning this one up. Need to be careful not to lose Sipe here. Recall Force and they should be able to get chase Psycho out of this one. And now, coming around this corner. In theory, this is where Orisa should heavily outvalue the ball, but Shazam's a master of ball. We've seen him do a lot of things. This window is going to put Ice under lots of pressure. Now the Riptide over top as well. Ice is going to get away from all of it, though. So both of these ults feel a little bit wasted from Arya. Oh, yeah. And this gives an opportunity for Peace and Love to stabilize for a little bit. Now, you've got to bear in mind, Chasm is still behind, being a nuisance. No real ults left on the side of Arya. Oh, yeah. So it's just a slow, pokey fight. Chasm still, <laughs> still just running and annoying them behind. There we go. Oh, wow. Lauren wants to kick this one off with an overclock. And the first shot is good. There we go. Lamp to keep Lauren going. Nice opening by Lauren. Nails that first shot. Always so important, that first shot in these overclocks here. It just opens it up. And they will hold on. 
1 minute 45 seconds on the clock. Oh yeah. Have we a chance to tie up this series. Ken will go down before anything really happens. He was on Ash, so they're just going to wait for him. Shazam has the mines. Sipe nearly has the Kitsune Rush. Psycho's hiding in the corner with Pulse Bomb. I don't know if they know he's there. Kaya does. Oh, boy. Psycho's going to have his recall force and have to get out of there. Chase all the way out. Psycho's going to have to wait a little bit for this Pulse Bomb opportunity. Slowly working their way in. They can maybe start with Windows soon. Lauren's going to jump in, actually. Lauren has to be careful. He's committed. They're pushing with Rally. Here comes the window from high ground. A beat gets one. A beat lamps himself. A Eula is trapped, but he's there to shield everyone. Bash ends up being good. A beak and a Eula are alive. They traded a lot of ults in this, actually. Chasm and Sipe both dropped their ults. So even though the Kai is slowly moving... <laughs> Chasm's trying to slowly move it away. He is behind them. They've weathered some of the storm. But that was a lot of their big ults there. The rally especially. It's now Terra Surge from Ice. We've not seen a lot of good ones so far. Window have a choke. Ice looks like he wants to drop it. He's 1 HP though. Is he going to go for it? They do manage to kill Coolboy, but Ice goes down. They trade up, though. They trade up. Chasm's still looking for more, but a beat's got the po pocket onto Eula, and this bat brig is awfully sturdy. Eula's going to get the two cleanup kills. 15 seconds left on the clock. Chasm has to be careful. Dying now is rough. Dying now is rough. Who is going to touch? Is it going to be Cool Boy? I mean, it has to be, but he has to he has to go through the gauntlet here to get his touch. Riptide's going to try and make space for him, but it's no good. Can anyone else get the touch? Tire's shut down. No good. Ice drops for C0. <laughs> and they find themselves two maps up. Peace and love. Two maps up. <laughs> what are we saying about pronunciation? It's really hard to have this confrontation over delay, but is it Chasm? I thought it was Chasm. I thought it was Chasm. Like, the CH. <laughs> but, the Beaks team, probably relatively happy with that. Relatively happy with that, right? I'm obviously conscious of the delay and everything. But a beats team, fourth seed coming into this. Oh yeah, always provides a difficult challenge. And so far, it's not really been the cleanest, right? It's been a bit ugly. But I'd wager that most teams never get a clean victory against a team like... Um, a team like, oh yeah, because of the nature of playing against a team who is very good at a very unique set of heroes. I mean, to be honest, they're competent now. Like, the ball and the junk route are really the only crazy bits. It ends up not working out. And we'll wait for the next map. Now, the way the, way the map picks work, it's worth talking about a little bit, is if you're the top seed or the higher seed, which a big team are, you get, uh, you get to pick maps one. If these are all the maps, one, two, three, four, five. You get to pick one, three, and five. If you're the lower seed team, you get to pick maps two and four. Let's accept that. So what we have right now is we are going back. We're going back to, to the choice from Peace and Love, a Beaks team. Um, yes, Buster Fooley. It'll be a while since you get this answer. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, back to Peace and Love's pick. I'm sorry. I'm just reading some of the pronunciation stuff. Yeah, I feel like Chasm's right. Um, I feel like that's what people have told me before. So, I'm going to stick to it, huh? Stick to it. Anyway, Peace and Love, two maps up. Now, their map pick again. We're going to go to Esperanza. And what's interesting now for our year is, as you can see, Darkside Phil, sometimes better known as Isaac, has been subbed in. So what this means is obviously no ball. Isaac can play pretty much every tank, honestly. 
So there's just open a lot of doors for them. But I, I would say actually, I, I don't know. Maybe people will know. Maybe maybe Chaz will know better than I will. Um. I feel like Esperanza would be a decent map for ball, potentially. Initiating match. <laughs> no changes on the side of peace and love. So what will we see Isaac play? He might just play Arissa. <laughs> might just play Arissa. We might be in it for, I guess, maybe a fairly traditional, well, I say traditional, like a traditional Arissa mirror, except one team has a junk rat. Honestly, Kai has been doing wondrous things. I feel like Psycho is thoroughly shell shocked now. Um, <laughs> wait. Oh, okay, let's see. Hold on. I'm, my, mods are, my mods are messaging me. I don't know how to change that quickly. We're about to start as well, so... Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think I can actually... Oh, you should... mm. Okay, I can't fix it now. I can handle it, though. Don't you worry. Anyway, we'll lock in for this map. Important map, obviously. Oh, yeah. Don't want to go to the lower side of this GSL bracket. If they can avoid it, of course. We'll be coming around the corner. Early space taken here. And Ice is going to bully him back into this corner. So if they're sort of trapped here, Kai is going to try and spam his way out of it. Now, normally what happens at this point of a fight for our year is Kai is going to somehow get a cross-map opening pick. So, we'll wait for that to occur. Javelin comes in. Isis actually takes a huge chunk of health here. Meanwhile, Psycho's going to dance with Sipe in the back. And Sipe's all sorts of trouble. Coolboy's going to try and save him, but it costs his life. Ken's now going to peek him as well. And they pulled him apart on the flank. Their backside's been opened up. They're going to find all the kills. Kaya gets his one. But first fight, over to peace and love. <laughs> High ground hold now coming into play. Ult's coming up for everyone. A beat's gonna have this window. Probably that's the most likely one. Probably drop a window somewhere like here. Keep trying to force the cart. We'll see how. Oh yeah, try and retake. They are gonna get themselves onto point right now. They want to swing top here, and Peace and Love need to make sure they control this. Darkside Phil is going to get quite far out. Ice is going to push behind now. Wants to contain the backline. Window on top. Isaac's going to have to drop off here. Kitsune rush on the high ground too, but they're keeping him pinned back for now. Pulse will oh, It doesn't connect from Psycho, but he gets the kill on the Arissa anyway. And now the door is wide open. Kai is going to try and turn. Oh! But Lucio's 1 HP. How has he survived all of this? How on earth has he survived all of this? Kaya gets no trades, and whenever we're talking about push. <laughs> Hold on. There is no permission for it. Hold on. Where's the capital C gone? We'll get it back, backbone. Anyway. This is now a, uh, a scary situation. A scary situation for Arya. Oh, yeah. They're going to try this retake, but it's so difficult. You can see if we look at it from their point of view, it's just treacherous to walk out here. How can they get more? The Riptar is going to try and come in. It's going over the roof. Can it find anything? Looking for a horse. Oh, he wants to run over him. He gets the damage. Isaac will finish the kill. Now they can keep walking forward and retake off the back of that rip tire. Will be successful, but he just needs a clear up point here. Isaac needs a bit of help. Isaac needs a bit of help. They're a bit slow to help him, and they managed to psycho forces for trade. They should be able to finally clear him up. There we go. Arya can get on the front foot for the first time in this map. And importantly, because they've got that retake for just a rip tire, they've got four ops coming back. But peace and love have all five of theirs. Isaac's is walking a little bit early here. Ice has to be careful. He wants to catch Kai, but Kai's going to double jump out. Both teams going to manage to get back to full strength with their respawners here. And we'll get a repeat of first fight, essentially. 
Pinin's going to be dropped. B in response. It is too far to push. They're going to try and post bomb it, but Vasuzu is good. Ends up being a waste. Nay to keep going. Aya take a step back, but the overclock as well. Kitsune rush and B to hold their ground. Everyone's pressing every Q, and it's kind of just ended in a stalemate. Still trying to walk forward here. I says Kitsune rush is still going, so he has to be careful. It will fade away now, and they can take a more even situation. Lauren and Abik pounding that pressure into Isaac. They're forcing Aya all the way back. Terra Surge comes through. Ice is going to get lamped, even though he probably didn't need it. But they still win that trade. Now the Terra Surge looks good from Ice. He'll get all the cleanup. Honestly, did he need it? It was like 5 v feet, five feet 3, maybe about to be 5 v 4. Um... Okay. Uh-uh-uh. Hold on, I'm trying to fix things right now. Now a chance to put big distance on. Oh yeah, needs to start winning some fights and winning some fights quickly. They can't really afford for this lead to get too much bigger. Isaac's going to push initially. But Isaac's actually won this trade and Lauren finds the first pick. The health is so much higher. They suzu, but they're trapped in a tiny room here. Can they get through? Can they get out of this room? Obviously, it's a good place to fight as Junkrat, but Ice is going to spin in. Nothing they can do, and Abik's team look to take a commanding, uh, commanding lead here. Cool Boy's going to swap over onto the BAP, so BAP Kiri now for the back line. Obviously, no speed for this engage, but a little bit, a little bit more healing. Better ults as well. Well, maybe not. Well, no. Window's going to come out. Isaac's going to get caught. Lamp ends up being good. They still lose Sipe. Now the Riptide. They need trades, but it's only the window it gets. B to make sure everyone lives. Ken still gets one. Kaya, can he finish it? No. And now this is scary. They lost their Arissa, but they're on the verge of a full cap. On the verge of a full cap. Darkside Phil going to come out. On the Arissa. Oh, he's taking so much damage. He has to get lamped on as well. Can he get the touch? Can you get... Oh, no, he's C9s. He's C9s. I think Arya had kind of accepted their fate a little bit, if I'm being honest. It's a C9, but I think they'd accepted, accepted their fate. And it's going to be 3-0 to peace and love. A Beaks team on top. All right, let me... Let me try and find out what else is going on. <laughs> Beak said he reported all the level fives in the lobby. I, this happens every time. This happens every time. Every time. All right. So, what we should do now is we need to get a bit of an update on what's going on in the world, right? We need scores. We need scores and information. So, let me take you over to... Um, where's my br br browser? Where's my browser? This one? Here we go. Right. So SSG have locked in Frio. Ents are on their way to lock in in Frio. Obviously, we know this one's finished. Frio. And Twisted Minds are 2-0 up. Hold on. I just need to talk to my mods. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Okay. So here's the situation. Here's the situation. Because of a delay. <laughs> honestly, I didn't. Re I forgot we would have to have delay, so I didn't prepare for it at all. So. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work as a collective and as a community to solve to solve the um to solve the delay. So the problem with the delay Hold on. What was I going to say? Sorry, yeah. Um <laughs> Thanks for that. I just saw the, the endorsement five support. So thank you. I'm glad you guys have got my back. So what? So what happens with the delay is, 
obviously, when I finish, when the game finishes for me, it doesn't finish for you for 90 more seconds. So what I have to do is try and keep track of that and run the ads at the same time. If any of you have watched the stream screen before, what I'll often try and do, and I don't always get it right, but I think we got a pretty high success rate, honestly, is we run the ads in between each map. And that way, I still get the, I still get the ad revenue, so I can still... Um, I, I can make a living off it, but it also doesn't actually take away gameplay from you. I think maybe that first series, it was a little bit wacky um, and a little bit less consistent um, with dodging during the actual gameplay. So what we're going to need to do is I'll try and snooze the ads until, until the end of the map is over. But what I need you to do, the good people of chat to do, is I need you to give me some sort of code word to let me know. Ah! The game's over. It's safe to press the add button and therefore nobody's going to not miss any crucial parts of the game. So, does anyone remember the code word from last time? I'll give you 90 seconds. I'll give it 90 seconds to catch up and we'll see if anyone can remember the code word from last time. Uh, I'll watch this clip while we wait. Yeah, go top, go top, go top, go top, go top. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm stepping a bit. They're pushing me, they're pushing me, they're pushing me. Uh, Paddy, Paddy, inside, 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 inside. Yeah, can we, can we, can we? I'm no letting full no ult, I'm letting full ult. A1, A1. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, god he's alive! <laughs> How does he live? No. Oh, oh my god. Oh. 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 What a fight. What yeah, a go top, go top, go top, go top, go top. Okay, what I'm also going to do... Does any... Okay. I don't know when we've reached 90 seconds. Unfortunately, the code word to let you guys... Let me know if you guys know the code word. Um... Uh, thank you, Askers. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate the Prime. Um... All right, I don't want to miss the lobby invite. So what I need to do actually is I need to update the game thing as well, don't I? So let me go back here. I'm just going to narrate what I'm doing so you guys can sort of follow along the journey with me. So I get the Overwatch Championship Series and we are going to map A. So, okay, seven minutes from now, the games are starting, right? So I actually, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to go to the toilet first. So you guys, um, you guys deal with that. But thank you again. Thank you for everyone who subbed and primed. I know it's been a little bit scuffed as we've de dealt with everything. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, micro penis is for code word. Good memory. Good memory. Um, but... <laughs> what we're going to do... <laughs> we're just hearing your code word. Yeah, code word is... But code word is micro penis, okay? So that's... Um, that's one to bear in mind. I'm going to go to the toilet. I'm going to get myself another Diet Coke, keep myself topped up, and then we are locking in. And this is X Oblivion versus Super Shy, right? So we can even get, get the bet going now if we want. X Oblivion versus Super Shy. Map one. Surely XO. Surely XO can get past Super Shy, right? They can beat Takuno. All right, all right, all right. What are we saying? What are we saying? What happened? <laughs> what are you saying? Where the fuck is... 
Where the fuck is Ghost? <laughs> Often this guy some circuit points and he fucking vanished mid-match. What? What happened? Luckily, admin goes to change roster. What happened to Ghost? What happened to Ghost? All right, what was I doing? I was updating the, the map thing, wasn't I? Sorry, let me... Let me uh, update the overlay. So let's see. We're going to group A now, right? Let's see. EMEA, group A. Matches. And we want X Oblivion versus Super Shy. We want that code. And then if I do, if I put this into this. Wait, if I put this into this, then hopefully it just updates. Let's see. Oh, not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Thank you, Solomon. What are the bet saying? 74%? 58% now to EXO. Artemis is all in on EXO. They're biased, though. They're biased. So no real surprises so far, I think, in any of these matches, right? Um, where's my browser gone? Let me get my browser back. I need my browser back, browser back, browser back. Yeah, three is across the board, exactly as intended. Exactly, well, exactly as intended, exactly as expected. And this was kind of close, though, right? What happened here? Smongus nearly with a run back. Let's see. Pretty dominant, looks like, from Ents on the surface, just to be expected. Looks like this was even, even more dominant uh, from Twisted Minds against Rock Stars. Betting XO is three points, you think? Do you think? We can take a look for the rosters, right? Um, Because I actually really... Obviously, Ents is... Ents is actually... Oh, not Ents, sorry. X Oblivion is actually relatively the same. Except for, of course, the tank line where they've got a couple of Dutch fellas. A couple of Dutch fellas in, instead of their Ukrainian superstar. So, obviously, it has to be said it's a downgrade. Um, no disrespect to Dan... But it's fair to say, I think Chase is actually one of the best tanks in the region. So anyone who's not him will will be a downgrade, really. Anyone, unless you've got like Hadi or something, right? Um, I think it would be a downgrade. Honestly, even if they got Mag, I, it was a downgrade. So I think there's still, I think now, if you saw my Power Rankings video, I think the way I really look at EMEA right now is there's the big three. Which is like your TM, your Ents, and your SSG. And then there's sort of EXO. There's like a tier break, then EXO. And then there's a tier break again. And there's maybe like Team Peps, Ataraxia, and what was it called? Peace and Love? Peace. That's off. <laughs> what have I done there? Peace and Love. I've kind of drawn over my face a little bit here, but hopefully you can see what I mean. So I think EXO are actually a little bit of the gatekeepers between these two these two halves. And I think Super Shy are probably just outside the top eight right now. But I do like a lot of pieces of Super Shy's roster. I think when I look at this roster, people I like, people who stand out for me. I thought Zorro, when with the little bits we saw of him in Swiss, looked like a really good hit scan. Will, I think, is actually a solid flex DPS. Pack, um, you know, packs. Pack I'm not as keen on, but it, it does seem to play above Will. I think Pack's on Tracer's maybe potentially a bit of a weak link here. Rajaro, I really like. Um, Sobek and Takuno, I think. I'm actually got a big fan on this backline. Takuno was someone we nearly took to the World Cup. Um, we took Cronus in the end, but we were, we were really toying with the idea of actually gambling on sort of Takuno, who was a bit more of an unknown, especially for me and Chris at the time. Um... <laughs> um, so I got lots of lots of time for Takuno. I thought the little bits we saw of Sobek in Swiss as well. He looked really good. Looked like a, a slippery man. A really slippery Lucio. And I honestly, people sometimes use slippery as um <laughs> people use slippery as an insult, but as a Lucio, you want to be slippery as all heck. You want to be the slipperiest son of a bitch anyone has ever seen. So <laughs> What's Dan saying? <laughs> I've just... Obviously, there's a bit of a delay. Um, 
Don't circle your name. I'm getting Will Smith. I'm getting Will Smith by Dan. Take my fucking name out of that circle. Dan's. I always, I always really regarded this. Is, this kind of matches up a lot of things because um. I actually always pictured Dan as the Will Smith of the Overwatch scene. So this, this all sort of tracks for me. Um. So congratulations on his Oscar to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and um, good luck in his match. But yeah, honestly, I don't think Super Shy are going to win. But I think um, I think it will be a good game. I actually, yeah, I'm excited to see Rajaro, Zoro, Sobek, Takuno, and everyone else is okay. Like I know I'm, I'm obviously like by saying some people's names, I'm I'm leaving some people's names out. But it's not a it's not a sign of disrespect. It's just the highlights are elsewhere, you know. The highlights are elsewhere, and that's okay. That's okay. Hold on, I just need to refresh my chat a second. So bear with me. Bear with me. Let me refresh this as well. God, where are we? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm just seeing all the tweets. Because obviously, if you missed, I put my um, NA power rankings out. So obviously, I put them out earlier today. So now a lot of the North Americans are obviously waking up. So it's fair to say uh, my Twitter notifications are um, full. Absolutely full. <laughs> uh. Do you want to see? You see my Twitter notifications. Hold on. Can you see this? Yeah. So um, yeah. So obviously, I'd put um, I didn't know a lot of the NA teams um outside of the sort of top eight. So what I had to do is I had to make a lot of assumptions. And the safest way, I think, to judge a roster's quality is just to pick the names you like. Just pick names you like and names you don't like. So some of the names, it's fair to say I didn't like. So I put um, Nightmare, um, what are they called? Timeless Nightmare. Where are they? Nightmare Rotation, sorry. Nightmare Rotation at the bottom. Because, and my main logic, and I think this I think this logic holds in all honesty, right? That some of their, some of their names are like a little bit too like serious gamer names like Quartal, right? But then other names, other names are um, like Swartzy and Salami Boy 200. So I was like, this yeah, it's just the mix. The mix of people taking it really, really serious gamer names along with Salami Boy 200. Can't stand for it, you know. Can't just, feels like, like I said here, red flags. So I put them, um, so I put them quite low. And it's fair to say, Cortal, Cortal wasn't, <laughs> not best impressed. <laughs> No problem with the name Corso. It was more just for combination of somebody serious and then a salami boy and Schwartzy. You know? Doesn't work out. All right, there's the lobby invite. I'm going in. Ah, uh, thank you, Enigma. Enigma X500. I've honestly... I know I'm reading chat here. Yeah, Coach Hogg's not happy with the 16th. <laughs> that's why in the post if I can find it that's why I, I told everyone to send the send the hate via Sparker you know Sparker is my public relations manager um, and he's handled it for me so anyway we're going to get in lobby we're going to get in lobby <laughs> last lobby wait every lobby People jealous. People get jealous and report. <laughs> it's true. Only nice guys like Kanao and me understand. Ooh. Um Cortal and Salami Boy. Yeah, so I'm just catching up on chat, so we're going to go back and forth a little bit here. But yeah, it's just like, Cortal. You know, it really just... In my head, it conjures, like... Um, it conjures, um, 
like the like for fighting game announcers like when we pick your hero like Cortal enters the arena and then here's Salami Boy it's like ass oh, Cortal Salami Boy you know it just <laughs> doesn't work you know doesn't work doesn't work all right all right all right all right all right all right let me get rid of that let me have my alt tab over here um what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing all right and we can lock in for this one i think we can lock in for this one where are all the new prospects? It's just what left of the same guys. Yeah, so there's a lot of recycling, but I think there are new. Pro I think people like well, we're gonna see some of them here. I think actually, if you want, if you want new prospects, we're gonna have. I think Zoro, Takuno, and Sobek. I think all fall into that category. We're gonna see. He's tagged up as Rhino, but this is Hitori on the super shy, super shy side of things. Um. So. <laughs> So we'll see how this one kicks off. It looks like Bap Brig initially. And this is this is a very bizarre choice, I think. I'm not used to seeing a Bat Brig on this map. So we'll see what the plan is. Obviously, they're going to be slower to take top. And it's so important to take high ground here. Now, X Oblivion are actually just going to have all of this space for free. Dan's going to come out now. Hitori's going to meet him. Fortify's been used earlier. So now Dan can stuff him back in this choke. And it's really hard to get out in this choke. Even with the sturdiness that a Bat Brig supplies. We're going to be playing a little bit more for point here as Pack. Obviously, Pack can get the pack. Boop is good here, so Hitori's going to have to try and regroup with his team. And oh, the push is good, actually. Disrupts a shot. Helps Dan catch both of those. An ex-Oblivion take. Uh, pretty convincing first point. Eyes on Sobek here if he dies. Does he swap to Lucio and they just take more of a standard mirror? All right. Eyes on Sobek. All eyes on Sobek. I'd rather see the Lucio. I'm about a bit of a bat brig hater. Bat Brig Hater. He's going to stick it, though. So, we're actually playing um, Slow Brawl against, well, Fast Brawl. Goes for a bit of pressure here. Cloud has no recall. Walking forward. Taking a little bit of space. Window's going to be up for Takuno soon. Kneo nearly has his Kitsune Rush. And now, the general way this works is if you window and the Kitsune Rush comes through the window, you probably lose. If you can keep the window off the Kitsune Rush... You can really stabilize it. Oh my god, Hitori downtown. Shockwave off the edge of the map. An early buff and a free retake. Hitori's got the javelin moves. Hits a new personal best. Send Shockwave flying off the map. And... Gotta be happy with that. Keep hold of all your ults. Get the high ground. Now you can get your bat break up here. You can maybe get Rally going for the next fight. Now, interesting. The retake's very difficult here. Normally, most people will play to force it through point. Hitori is holding on the low ground, though, so a chance they could take this rotation around the right-hand side if they want. Hitori's going to meet him. Oh, it's a huge... Oh, my God! The Kitsu... <laughs> the, the Terra Surge into Pulse Bomb. pac has got everyone. 3k Pulse Bomb. No Susie to keep him alive. A classic pack moment. <laughs> and all of a sudden... They had to use two ults for it, of course. It's a combo. But looking pretty tasty for Super Shy. They've got the rally on the high ground. They've got the window on the high ground. But obviously, two ults down since Exo has still yet to use an ult so far in this map. Looks like they want to give the high ground here. Really interesting decision to give the high ground here. Kitsune Rush is going to be used up top. They're just going to try and disengage main. Window off it now. The window's good from Takuno, to be fair. They can still peek it and pocket him. And Zoro's going to get the magnetic grenade kill on Cloud. Now Dan wants to push from this Terra Surge. They push him back. He comes in. Can they kill him through? No. Beat over the top and Dan will finish off Takuno. Now the Rally comes. But Rally, they, they want to push, but it doesn't feel as good without the bat healing. They're going to walk onto point anyway. Shockwave's going to get caught. Pack still looking for more. They've got... They're in control of a point. Remember, they, they can't afford to lose this fight, X Oblivion. They can't afford to lose this fight. Magnetic Grenade on top. Javelin is good onto Crispy. The supports are staying alive here and Cloud is back in, picking off picking off the stragglers. Now they can all dive onto Hitori at the same time. Pack is trying to clear out Cloud, but Cloud still has really cool. Hitori's 1 HP. They should be okay. Pulse Bomb was actually used, thrown in there by Pack as well. Don't know about that one. But it will just about. Skin of their teeth there. Cloud really came through from when they needed it to give them another shot here. Dan is going to go over onto Sigma. Sobek is... On the brig still. 
Have I gone Anna Winston? Anna, what are they going? Kiri, Lucio, Sojin, Winston. They've just gone dive. Dive against the Sigma. Now, this is something we saw in some of the scrims earlier as well. Um, if anyone watched any of the scrims as we went along. Hold on. Okay. Going to be the initial dive in. They get the boop off. So if it comes for one as well, Dan's going to try and drop onto the Winston here. Rock is really good, actually, and Hitori's in massive trouble. I think the swap is really reasonable. I just... It depends how good you are at this other comp. We've seen Ents and SSG uh, try similar things once they, once they see the Sigma pull the Winston out. But normally, they're a little bit closer to the comp already, so it's only a tank swap rather than having to swap, like, three heroes. We see Zoro go back to the Cassidy here. And now, despite that early start, we're in last fight territory and they don't have a lot of ults. The swap here really doesn't work out for Super Shy. We, get, we can talk about more, uh, more about it after, but let's see how this goes. They're going to force uh, Bait Dan to drop. They can dive for high ground now. Shockwave nearly has this high noon. Coming around the corner. Boop is good by Crispy. Lots of trouble. Kitsune rush over top and Hitori's just going to be absolutely smashed. Beat now comes out. They will be forcing on to Zoro. They're trying to get desperate touches here. They've got people on all sides of them, but they're going to get taken down on all sides. Sobek doesn't get that last touch. Crispy's good for the boop. And now let's talk. Let's talk about any swaps, right? Because this is where this is where I think Super Shy have shot themselves in the foot. Now you do see a lot more swaps in Overwatch, right? You see a lot more swaps. The problem is they had to swap one, two, three, four heroes. So if you do this on Cough. Unless you're like, unless you've got 99 and they've got zero, you're going to miss out on getting your wave of ult. So you saw that last fight there, even though you can make an argument they had comp advantage with the Winston comp, they had no ults. So it doesn't matter if you have comp advantage, if this team just has significant ult advantage, you probably lose the fight anyway. So I think the timing of the swap doesn't make any sense. They should have just kept taking the mirror and just relied on essentially getting an ult power spike at some point to get the retake. Instead, because they, they try and do the comp swap, they actually end up in like a big hole for a couple of fights and doesn't work out. Now we're going to see a little bit of Winston coming out from X Oblivion's side. So we saw Verissa and honestly, I feel like they probably feel a little bit, a little bit fortunate to win that first one. Now, dive is much more common. They're going to turn their attention to pack first. They're going to force pack all the way out. Dan's going to jump on him as well. Bubbles him off as well. Early point pressure now. For Super Shy as a result of all this effort to chase down the Tracer. They're going to get the touch in response. Hitori's actually super low, so they have to be careful here. Zoro's trying to swing out this left-hand side from his point of view. Pax there too. Holding on to point. They will be forced off and back into the choke. They had to use Lamp here, so next dive could be pretty scary. Thank you as well, Kexio. Kexio, VIP gambler. Big money man. And there is actually a good... Oh, Zori's been taken for an absolute ride. They trade one for one. Don't know if it's worth it, ultimately. Sobek is still forcing the point here with Pax. So they're going to get first flip as well. So that trade doesn't have been worth it. It was a pretty wild move, honestly, from Zoro, But it works out for him. Now they're looking for the dive opportunity. Rotation back to main here from Sobek and Takuno. Trying to deal with Cloud. They force him out. The rest of Exit Blame gone right hand side. Hitori has to be careful. He's slightly separated from his healers right now. They back up actually. Takuna needs help after this Kitsune rush. He's going to get bubbled off. Every pack is going towards him, but he's taken down. Now they're fighting on point. Minimal healing available. Sobek doesn't quite have this rally yet either. So they're just going to try and play their lives. Hitori is separated. Can't find the trade. Pulse bomb's good from pack. They're not quite done yet. Zoro's walks in on point as well. Chased out by Dan. Trying to stop him getting any opportunities. But here comes the rally. Rally cast coming back with a flip is given. Crucial flip there by X Oblivion, which means this rally is going to essentially be wasted. Dan's looking to keep pushing now, but they have to be careful. A rallied cast is no laughing matter. And now Zoro and Sobek have the high ground. Zoro's going to get another pick. Was really impressed with Zoro in the Swiss, and he's starting to, starting to click. Uh... Starting to um, starting to click on quite a few heads. Now a lot of ults coming back, and it's going to be primal B overclock. Probably could start with overclock if they want here. Next oblivion. They're going to take the high ground away from him first. Next oblivion. 
We're going to force the lamp with this overclock. Stuff them all back in the choke. Can they beat to keep going? They're going to primal to keep going, but Dan's still going to get focused down. And they've somewhat stabilized here thanks to this window. Crispy still has the beat, so they can drop that one in and go a little bit more if they want. Dan's trying to separate people with primal. They have to beat to survive this terror search. And Hitori's going to keep it going, actually. Dan is super low after this primal. Again, they've managed to stabilize. And Super Shy still have control of the point. Now the Pulse Bomb missed from Pack. He's going to die for it as well. They're going to try and stall this one out. They should at least be able to get to 99. Hattori's in a little bit of trouble. Separated out here. And after a lot of good work to survive all the big ults, it ends up ending with a whimper. End up with a whimper rather than a bang. Now... The sim from Pack. I presume it's just a TP out of spawn. I don't think they stick to it. He's actually <laughs> they actually didn't even get to use the TP. Only Hitori did. Anyway, Kitsune Rush here for Kaneo. If he can land this Kitsune Rush atop the Bap and Brig, they should really die. Sobek probably desperate for this rally. Takuno desperate for this window or anything really. Walking through this choke should be difficult. Dan's holding close. Pack's gonna try and get an angle to clear him first, and they do manage to do that. They've cleared out Cloud as well. They're going to force them all the way back. They want to rotate to this inside area. Hitori's gone a slightly different way, though, so have to be careful to keep Hitori tapped, uh, tapped ta <laughs> topped up. Po uh, Lamp is good to save from the Pulse Bomb, too. Now they can soon rush over top. They're going to try and survive. Sobek doesn't quite have Rally, but he has Rally soon. He's going to pop it now. Looking for the Bash. Can't find it. Goes for it, but doesn't get anything. Dan's still going to get focused down. They need to pocket Zoro through all of this. Here comes the Primal from Dan. They're just going to tank it, although they chase Dan away. They make their move towards point. And now a chance for Zoro to walk out, get some stuff done. He's got a window there as well. He's going to get a couple of high value shots, but can't see anything. The TP ends up being good. Now he's looking for more. X Oblivion in control of point as his beat push comes in. They need to keep Zoro alive through all of this. If they survive, the repush will be good. But no, Hitori's so low. Might catch Crispy, but no good. Difficulties for High Noon on this round point, but not difficult to click on Cloud, apparently. Now it comes in. They're all tagged. They have to be careful. They're trying to kill this. Lamp is good. More pressure onto the Winston. Zoro stays alive, but they've lost to Kuno now. Zoro has to flank. He needs massive value. He needs insane value. Doesn't quite get it, though. They can get a few more touches. Zoro's going to keep flanking. Conscious for Tracer's coming back. Ah, timing a little bit. Not quite right. They'll manage to clean it up. And X Oblivion take map number one. But boy, that was a dogfight. Boy, that was a dogfight. And it's starting to look hella competitive, as they say. Hella competitive. Hold on. I'm getting... What am I getting? Friend requests? Messages? What's everyone saying? What's everyone saying? Stylish combo there, hey? Um, the score's wrong? I feel like the score is maybe pulling from the wrong thing, because what face it does on the update is it updates for round. Hmm. Let me talk to Solomon then. Did you just send me a friend request, Danny? Happy to be your friend, Danny. How was your match? Goomba's match was boring. Easy for Ents, eh? Easy for Ents. Um, obviously, remember to save a code word as well. Code word me. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye on it. Indicator 2. Uh, Hitori is Reiner. Hitori's tagged up as Reiner. Um... We got the invite here. Accept. And it looks like Parisio is next up. Parisio next up. Um. Hold on, I just need to message. Message back my producer. Yeah, I emailed them today. Didn't expect them to do it within hours. So everything as I went. <laughs> Micro penis, micro penis. All right, drop in, drop in the advert for you. Thank you, everyone. Code word. Fuck's sake, travesty. <laughs> it's important we're all on the same page with a code word, or it doesn't work. You know. 
Uh, all right but okay that that gave me hope it gave me some hope right it gave me some hope i think um i think on city center it looked reasonably winnable it, on on gardens it was actually it was actually like a macro decision the swap was the big the big thing um When will I be hit to already be held? I've been, uh... Let's see. <laughs> Hitori doesn't appreciate that I'm a, a more of a <laughs> more of a Rajaro fan. Hitori hater? Not a Hitori hater, just a Rajaro fan. Just a Rajaro fan. Pack the Hydron of EU. That's actually. It's actually quite real. Actually quite real. I feel like Pac's just a Hanzo guy, right? He's actually just like disproportionately good at Hanzo. And then not that great at everything else. I'm actually really surprised, honestly, that they actually use... When they were going for Tracer, I'm surprised to see it is Pack above Will. Um, I would have expected Will to play, honestly. But we'll see we'll see we'll see maybe pack can prove us all wrong right happy to be proven wrong as we go into this one and it's going to be an anna brig versus kiri lucio now you've maybe seen a lot of this on the scrim code stream so far the kiri lucio versus anna brig toronto have been pretty anna brig pilled for a while but i think toronto are wrong and i think maybe they're starting to lean a little bit away from anna brig as well i think kiri lucio is just better in a lot of situations we're also going to see tracer echo from ex oblivion versus the ash of zorro so Ash should, in theory, be quite vulnerable. Anna Brig should be... and In general, the Anna Brig Ash is really powerful if they get to stand there and do their thing. But the ability to five-man dive and all go past the enemy Winston means it should be hard for the Anna Brig Ash to do their thing. And we kind of seen that here already, right? They're just stuffed back in this choke. Zoro's going to have to try and take some difficult angles. The nade is good to try and help Hitori out in this top, top room, but... Doesn't work out. They're still stuffed in this corner. Sleep behind, though. Sleep is good by Takuno. Cloud will be taken care of. Still no tick for X Oblivion and a chance to a chance to get out of this goddamn room. And Super Shy will take it. They force him all the way back. Shockwave wants a trade. Defensive bubble is good by Hitori. And everyone will live. Everyone will live. <laughs> Why is Richaro in chat asking if it's the real Rhino? I don't want the real Reiner, I want the real Rajaro in the lobby. Anyway. Pulse bomb, no good from Pack. Dive onto Zoro. Defensive Nano is good. They defensive bubble him as well. The nade comes in, doesn't catch anyone. They manage to survive for dive. They're looking for more. Zoro's swinging so wide. No fear. And he's all jazzed up from that nano. But now X Oblivion have a chance to go. Kitsune rush out the window. The dive comes through. Dan's gonna hold on. Still has the bubble here. Wants to just force him out. They DP'd successfully, but now we have to retake out of this tiny room. And they've lost Zoro for it. Sobek's going to get cut off by Dan as well. And that should just be first point. Hitori can do it if he really wants to, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it to a friend. He's going to do it. We're going to try and make it work. Has for Primal. We'll stall it out. It's naded as well. Puts pressure onto Dan. He's bought a lot of time here. He still has for Primal to drop in afterwards. Here we go. Don't think he can kill that Tracer. Wants to get... Nail, but the TP is good. Boop is good from Crispy. Well played by the backline. Meanwhile, Dan has taken taken Takuno for a ride. Yatori's gonna have to go back to point. B over the top now. Bob is out and Bob's shooting, but Bob's got a really, a really slim angle here. It's quite an acute angle for any year seven math fans in the chat. He will get focused out. X Oblivion will be good there. And uh, the retake ends up not being good. Pat's gonna use the pulse bomb as well. We trade shockwave, but it has to be has to be a classic tracer moment. Zoro's got a slightly different way on this disengage, but I think I think Super Shy will be okay if I manage to group back up. 
And first point does fall. It was kind of, they kind of won all the fights in their ex-oblivion, but it was still like a, a very long cap comparatively. And this now in theory, if there's, if there's a part of this map now where Anna, Brig, Ash is favored, it is this part of the map. I really would prefer to see something a little bit more over here. Like the Anna Brig, the Anna Brig, Ash over here. Maybe the Ash can play quite aggressive here. Then just have our Winston play this. Tracer anchor point. That's how I'd set up personally, but who am I? Who am I to? Are they going to move back now? Yeah, in this first part of the map on Parisio is really hard to defend. You can't really take a fight in this early area very consistently or very, very successfully. It's much better just to get like this really good hold at the back. Now, Hitori's actually going to get a little bit frisky. We'll be forced out. Chance to dive. Uh, they do have the Kitsune Rush. So if they can get the Kitsune Rush onto this high ground, they can maybe, maybe take over a lot of this. Takuno has the Nano. Last one was onto Zoro. Might just be a defensive Nano again. Crispy is... Go Where's Crispy going? He's thinking about the dive. He actually pulls attention for Dan. So Dan gets the free engage. Kitsune Rush over the top. But it isn't actually doesn't actually go that far. Now they come through, the defensive nano onto the brig is good. It means they get to it means they get to hold on. Boop! Oh, it does knock. It does knock Sobek down, so he's gonna have to regroup there. Yeah, I, I think really. Hold on. Let me let me let me figure out how camera work works. What you want is you want the Kitsune rush here. You want the little fox to go bounding along this nice little pathway. And then your Winston lands on here. You can get an extra Suzu, more bubbles. You can just really get everyone up here. So I do like the initial like crispy bait, a little bit of aggression, then the dive come in. But um, but still, I'm really not, really not, um, really not a huge fan of of the Kitsune Rush on on this roof. Anyway, we're gonna get another dive in. Shockwave's awfully low as they come in. Has to copy. He copies a brig. That's probably suboptimal. Dan's gonna get one going as well. Now he's gonna get all over the Ash. Zoro's getting taken for a ride here. Defensive Prime now comes out from Hitori. He still wants to go for the Ash. He's gonna keep going here. He doubles in. He bubbles for sleep as well. Can't finish it. Ends up being a good primal from Dan, though. Cloud's going to finish off some of these kills. And now, ex-Oblivion, they have all the space. They don't have any ults. And Hitori just want to touch. They're coming back with Rally as well. Sobek needs to stay alive. Needs to stay alive here. He's managed to stabilize now. He's walking out to point. Going to have one more bash. One more bash if he can find anything. But no. But they stabilize. Super shy. One minute on the clock. And they have stabilized. And most importantly, they're going to have this nano for this next fight. And Shockwave's going to go Cass as well now. Up top. Back to this forward hold. This is the best place to play your Anna Brig Ash. We're going to try and come through left hand side. They don't have Kitsune Rush yet. I'd play this slow if I'm ex-Oblivion. Wait for the Kitsune Rush. No need to do any crazy moves. They're going to bubble out here. Dynamite's going to come in. Takuno has this Nano. Can maybe, honestly, can just drop it. It's not crazy to drop it on Hitori, is it? Just go in. They're all so close. They're all there. They're going to do exactly that. He's going to get really close. He's got all of them. That's what I'm talking about. He gets the kills. Any staggers is massive. Free for Hitori. He's going to get most voice of a primal as well. Oh, if he gets these kills, it's massive. If he can get any of them, Kaneo in trouble. Has to Suzu. The chase is on. Pack is there. Pack's good for one. He wants to go for it. He wants to finish him. Pack's got two. Emo that spawn, C9, no touching, 119.06 meters is where it will end for X-Oblivion. And Super Shy were a dive team all along. Now we know, now we know. Also, it feels like I've got no messages now during that one. Normally what happens is I do a bit of a, I cast a bit of a match and then we get, um... <laughs> then we get, then I check my messages and I'm like, oh, by the way, this is broken since your channel name changed. This is broken. This is broken. You're not allowed to do this anymore. But actually, everything's okay. We've maybe reached a level of stabilization here. And that makes me, that makes me happy, content, and fulfilled. And we can focus on the game itself. And it's a pretty good game, right? This is a very achievable situation here. It must be said, while the Anna Brig, we talk about situations that are good for the Anna Brig, like this high ground all the way back here. The Anna Brig on the attack's a little bit trickier, right? Because you have to sort of play quite deep, probably around this bus area. You have to try and get pocket your Winston into like this type of area with your Tracer. And you have to just try and leverage that. It's difficult to hit nades. You can hit nades maybe here. You can maybe hit something off here. It's made, like tough nades to hit. So it's more it's harder on the it's harder on the attack for sure, right? I will say, I'd, I'll be surprised if they still run Ash here. 
<laughs> Why is he called it the pack bone? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Life Weaver, Widow, to get this opening grapple shot. Oh, wait, are we going for a second grapple shot? Do we expect a second grapple? Oh, he hits the headshot, but it's not enough. That's actually... We used to... When Parisio came out, you, we would do this in spawn all the time in London. Glads would do it as well. Glads would do it as well. How many grapple shots will they go? Kev goes for one. Kai goes for one. Kev goes for one. Kai goes for a fourth. But Exo don't get punished for it. But they do take all the space. The Shockwave's just immediately dead. Immediately dead. On the back foot, Pack is going to start forcing it. They have got their Tracer, Lucio, on a little bit of a flank here. And oh, Kaneo is going to demolish Pack. Kaneo, I think, one of the bright spots on this ex Oblivion team outside of Chase. And gets them the pick there. And Hitori is going to die for it as well. And after a, after a good opening, they're going to get pushed all the way back. And Shockwave, Shockwave fancies himself on Widow now. Now, Shockwave's got this big, long sight line down main. Make, make Zoro's life difficult. Zoro's going to go Widow as well. Parisio Widow off? Who would have seen it, huh? Who would have seen that one coming? Going for a grapple shot. Let's see it. Oh, hits the head, but Zoro is okay. Not really a fan of the Widow here, because while obviously the Widow's good at fighting the other Widow, it's a bit rubbish at dealing with everything else. <laughs> so they're a little bit squishy as they walk up here, but Zora's going to pick Kaneo, so I guess I'm a fan of the Widow. What was I telling you? I'm a fan of the Widow. Crispy's diving the Widow here. Crispy's diving. Crispy's got the Widow. Well, Crispy dived and Crispy was successful. <laughs> and... Now we first point just off that. Crispy's going to make his way out as well. So Crispy dips in, gets a kill, then leaves. Are they going for it? Actually, they're going for it. Cloud and Crispy come back. Bubble off, though. Chance to focus them down. Crispy's going to go down. Cloud's going to go down. Pulse Bomb onto Dan. He bubbles for most of it. They actually want to keep going for this. Sobek's going to die. Oh, it doesn't look like it should be possible. hitori has got the Primal going. He gets two. That should be enough. Dan doesn't quite have Primal yet. He's so close to Primal, but no good. Ends up, I'm surprised they went for that, honestly. They dropped the Kitsune Rush for it as well. One of their big ults. They lose it four minutes on the clock. Super shy. It's theirs for the taking. They have to get it most of the way, right? But you just have to complete second. Zoro, still on Widow. Shockwave, still on Widow. Been impressed with Zoro in the Swiss stage. He got the opening pick there onto Kanael. Kanael, ooh. Dances in front of him for a second again. Wall's going to be used from Shockwave. So this should just slow him down a little bit. Dan's quite aggressive. Does Dan want to go? He's considering it. No need to go here at all. Just hold for choke and Shockwave's got pack. That will slow him down even more. If you're ex-Oblivion here, you're quite happy. Oh, why is Crispy peeking the Widow in spawn? Shockwave's going to come and trade it. Doesn't really seem worth it. Obviously, Crispy will be back fast because he's uh, he's got the rollerblades on. They're being so frisky in spawn here. Dan does have a primal to keep going. Pulse bomb will be avoided by Takuno. Dan, does he have to primal out of this? But jump isn't what he wants. Now he has to primal. This primal's going to get nothing done. Meanwhile, Hitori's all the way in. Why is Hitori all the way in? Questionable decisions from both Winstons, but it's actually going to work out for Dan in the end, ultimately, even if it did cost him a primal. We'll stop the point here. They do have tank advantage. Crispy peeking around. Sobek is on point. They're going to nano Sobek in. He's going for it. He's going for it for sure. He's got maybe another bash soon if he can find anything. So Kuno's looking for the pick. They win the Widow Jewel. They need to help Zoro now. They all come to help him. Trade comes, or attempted trade comes in. Knail does get to Kuno though. Sobek was so busy peeling for his Widow. Now he misses. Misses the other one. Kanael's alive behind here, but where are we going, Kanael? Has to take this jewel with the Widow. Could do with a trade here. Has to be careful. Has to be careful. And Kanael does manage to stabilize. He's low now. Suzu and TP out. He's 1 HP. He is okay, but Hitori and Pack are just in the back. They've killed the back. It's a beat in from Crispy. It's desperation from Ex Oblivion. They need kills. Cloud needs to get some of these kills, but no. The back line holds strong. It's Kiri Brig. From Takuno and Sobek, but it's Pack and it's Pack and Hitori. Who's the real Rhino now? Super shy, tie it up one to one.
Drop me the code word when you can. But oh boy, do we have a series on our hand. Let's check. It'll be the Hattori Nano, I think. Has to be the Hattori Nano on the defense. Yeah, here it is. It just looked on, didn't it? They were all so close and doesn't even... I was thinking he could probably get to the Primal in that as well if they pocketed through it, but he doesn't even need it in the end. Just smashes them. Refers to himself as the German Gooch way. Um, feels like you don't normally refer to... Your, you know, it's like it's on someone else to call you the, the German Gooch way or the insert nationality Gooch way, you know? Um, shouldn't do it yourself. Shouldn't do it yourself. But here we are. Here we are. I'm just going to try and steal some noodles. I don't know why I said steal. Well, <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> I've not stolen them. <laughs> hmm. Ready for battle. All right, let's see the micro penis. All right, we're locking for this one. Whoa. Hmm. Thank you to the, the Bad Patch Mari League. Thank you very much. Appreciate the raid. Hope you enjoyed the coverage of your games. I'm guessing they finished a little bit earlier than this one. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream, everyone. We're obviously, we are working with a delay. Which means you're obviously not going to thank you for this for a while, but... Thank you so much. We're using the overlay from Solomon. We do greatly appreciate it. It is slick as all heck, honestly. Slick as all heck. And we're going to go over now, and it's going to be another dive mirror. Now, obviously, we just come off the back of Parisio, so if you're just joining us, first map was won by X Oblivion. Um, most, uh, somewhat on an Arisa mirror. But actually, it was Parisio we went to next, which was, of course, Super Shy's pick. They took us. Thank you. Thank you for the prime. Um, let me say it right. Shy away, Z. Shy away, Z. <laughs> So... What was they saying? Yeah, Parisio, which was Super Shy's pick. They take us there, and they actually just win the dive mirror. They hold X Oblivion on second, and they take care of them. The attack was pretty smooth as well, and actually, Hitorian Pack, which maybe would have been the people you would have expected to be the carries maybe in these situations, at least on paper, were playing very well, getting a lot of value, successful dives, the two of them working together effectively. But this first fight, this first fight goes for way of X Oblivion. They're on the high ground. They've got all the control in the world. Ash again from Zoro, which is a bit of a off-meta pick. They're trying to get a bit of space. Jump onto Shockwave, forces him back. Slide is used. Satori's going to have to recycle and go again. <laughs> Holding on. Super shy fans in the chat. Pax going for it. Pulse bomb. No good, though. Both traces will recall, and now Hitori's got it going. He's taking Shockwave for a ride, though. Kaneo's going to try and peel him, and he does manage to. Hitori needs to try and play his life now. He's out over the roofs, but he's made space for his team. That last jump's maybe a little bit too much. Kitsune rush out, and Hitori has to run, but he's getting hunted down. Pax has moved the car slightly away, and this Bob has come out, but Bob's just going to not have a whole lot to do. Pack is stuck, very separated from his team. Zoro's trying to peek out onto Shockwave, but Shockwave's got full pocket from Kaneo. They're going to try and turn his kills. Sukuno's got one. Sobek thinks he can do it. He's going to rally. Be over the top. Sobek needs so much help. So does Takuno. They're going to swarm him with rally. And this is one of the big reasons. One of the big reasons. Kiri Lucio, I think, is starting to become more popular than Vianna Brig. Now, on these timings, the support ults from uh, Kiriko and from B Lucio are so much stronger than than especially than the rally the nano you still see a lot of people get value with but the, especially the rally um a struggle we're gonna see a swap over onto cassidy here from zoro as well probably the hero we saw him pop off the most with 
in the Swiss stage. Early nade come. Nade's good, actually. Suzu keeps everyone safe from that anti-heal, but it means they have to take a step back. Now Dan's going to come in. They can obviously clear this. Primal's going to be used by Dan. He wants to keep going. Clouds around as well. Rail from Shockwave. Cleans up Hitori. But Primal Advantage means Dan can just keep them occupied for so much longer. Dan's even going to get the kill on Sekuna. They have to back out here. And now X Oblivion are putting big distance on the board. Coming back, it's going to be a Nano in 30%, a High Noon in 40% for Super Shy. Not a lot of great ults, and they've got to try and withstand an Overclock and this Kitsune Rush. It's really looking good for X Oblivion, if I'm being honest with you. And I'm always honest with you. High ground position for Shockwave, trying to farm up this rail. Cloud's trying to keep him from taking this right-hand side, but they're going to come over the top, actually. Pack's going to try and blink through, wants to clear out Cloud. Now the dive comes in from Hitori, bubbles him off. Wants to try and turn his attention towards Dan, but oh, Pulse Bomb's blocked by the Suzu. Kanael's good for that one. So no value from Pack. Zoro's still trying to peek out here, but they slowly but surely conceded space. Now they come out, but Pack's going to get caught. The nade is good, actually. No Suzu. Nano is good. Can Hitori get any more? He's going to go try and clean up point instead. Pulse Bomb is good onto Sobek. And X Oblivion are still trading pretty effectively. They turn on to Kuno now. And despite a good nade and a good nano, they only get one kill out of it. And now Super Shy find themselves back in the spawn. Forced all the way back. Kitsune Rush available. Beat available. Shockwave will be there soon. Has the overclock. Might start with the overclock here. There we go. Overclock to kick it off. Hitori is going to hold on to his primal for now because they've managed to use the high noon to stabilize it out. Still huge ult advantage here. They have to try and disengage this Kitsune Rush, but Sobek does not get away. The primal to try and separate and beat will make sure Shockwave is alive. And X Oblivion. This looks like a fast one. This looks like a fast one for them. They clean up everything and it has been all Exo all the way on Esperanza. Rally out from Sobek, but Dan... He won't let him out the door. You can't come in here unless you buy a couch. He pushes them all back in. And X Oblivion. Dominant. Absolutely dominant. Hit me with a code word. Hit me with a code word when you're up. We'll catch this Dan play of the game. Not sure which one it'll be. All right, it's that into the pulse bomb. Not the craziest one. Just clean up. X Oblivion were pretty dominant. All around. I'm going to get invited to the next lobby as well. Face it has no chill, right? Face it just wants us in these games again and again and again. Again and again and again. And now 2 1 over to X Oblivion. <laughs> just saw. Just saw Spilo's message now. It says chat is for two minute delay description of the old man brain lag or for tawny rules. It's for tawny rules. It's for tawny rules. <laughs> but unfortunately, because there's a two minute delay, there's also the brain delay I have. So we're actually looking at probably about like a three and a half minute delay at least, unfortunately. <laughs> Commander, Commander Sex. Literally just talked to himself half the stream. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much what just happens is I press the live button. I sit in my room by myself. I talk to myself about the pictures I see on one of the monitors. Honestly, the monitor could be off and we'd be having the exact same conversation. Micro penis. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> so yeah go on to new junk city and this should see a shift away and this is obviously going to be actually super shy's choice of map again <laughs> and we'll be locking in we'll be locking in <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be sim Cass here, Sim, Cass, Sigma, Bap. So an interesting twist here, whereas we may be getting a bit of a traditional. It's a Ram, May, Sojourn. They're going to wall aggressively. They're going to run into Cloud. They're going to kill Cloud. They're going to kill Dan. The lamp is late. No good and explosive here from the super shy guys. A little stagger onto Kanael. And it really seems like they weren't ready for that, eh? Really weren't ready for that. 
But we hold up a choke, obviously quite happy to hold this aggressively, right? Happy just to wall up a choke. It's going to be... They're trying to come in the other side here, but I think they've read it. They're trying to come up the stairs. Rock is good, but Dan's going to get full walled again. He just gets demolished here, and they need to be a little bit... A little bit craftier with some of these retakes here. I think the Sim gives them so many options, but they need to use it. Use the Sim to break these chokeholds. This is a big part of the reason why you would run a Sim in any comp, you know? Can we walk to underneath and flip a TP here or something? That would be good. Can we... Can we even... Hold on, let me get the camera going. Can we go up these stairs, but then just fake back and come back out, you know? Like, there's so many things we can do. They're gonna do... They're gonna do the one I talked about. Are they watching this? They're gonna immediately kill Takuno again, so no coalescence. The perfect pick from Shockwave. They're all over this one now. They deal with the ram. Kaneo's been traded, though. They're not out of the woods yet. Most of the healing gone for both sides. Dan's going to try and rotate into Zoro. He's pushed Zoro into Cloud. They'll finish him off. Pack is trying to anchor point. He's going to shoot Crispy in the head with an icicle as well. And they can stagger this one out. Ex Oblivion have to win this fight to keep this point alive. But the mail is good. Dan's going to get focused down. Cloud was not in time with the TP. He's going to TP onto point to get the final touch. He's got the turrets, but it's 100% it's to zero. And Super Shy are not done yet. We'll be moving on to point C. Will be the early space for Super Shy. All the ults coming up now. Dan is also onto Arissa. So Arissa a little bit more durable about a lot of this. Still kind of has a hard time against the May. Four ults versus four ults. Can TP out to get out of this choke if they want here. Cloud's having a look. They can also just symbol and try and walk forward with it too. Next Oblivion. Trying to figure out the next option. TP onto point. It's a fake TP. They window out the choke. Dan is walled off, though. Coalescence wall to keep them all alive. Javelin is dodged by Takuno, so they keep him pinned in now. Now the beat to go in. The high noon from Shockwave is TP, but he's alone. Don't know about that one. They try it. Now the annihilation's dropped from Reiner, and it's actually... Uh, he's, he's, got, he's annihilating everyone. They didn't use the overclock. They did use everything else. So now it's going to be a first, first cap and first point. Ticking up to Super Shy. Will be Overclock versus Beat. Now, in theory, Overclock does not beat Beat. If you can beat and push for Sojin, you have a great you have a great chance to um a great chance to kill said Sojin with that beat. But you have to get close enough. And this is a point where it can be difficult to get close enough to Zoro. So we'll see how X Oblivion approached it. They're trying to rotate immediately onto point. Oh, they catch Zoro before anything. Shockwave's done them dirty. No chance to use this overclock. Now they beat over top. Super Shy trying to stabilize. Cloud has TP'd in. Gonna sandwich Hitori between them. And it'll be a successful push. They're gonna stagger Pack out. Is Pack an idiot? <laughs> Why? Oh, god damn it, Pack! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now they're going to push forward after they get that stagger. See if they can catch any more. They have to be careful. It's actually Sobek who gets caught napping. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. They've got a TP to go back if they want. They have to go now. The TP's about to get shot down. They will be coming back with this overclock still. Pack is going to have mail. Difficult comp to use mail out. They've got to deal with the speed. Obviously, fortify TP out of it. Cloud's going to use the TP early, actually, just to peek left. So now this overclock can get going from Zoro. What can he find? Nothing quite there yet. Just clearing turrets. Crispy's going to take a headshot. Crispy's awfully low now. Happy to focus down Dan. Oh, Javelin's good. Now the window on point. They have to be careful. Zoro's going to have to DP for a while. Chance for Takuno as his mail doesn't get all that much. They've lost Hitori. Is he going to go for it? It's last fight. He's going to go for it. They want to pocket so back onto point for behind him. It's too good. They might kill Cloud, but they've got so much more to do. And I don't think it's going to be possible. X Oblivion. X Oblivion. Will tie us up one to one. Now we'll be moving over. Looks like we're going to point E. Big wide open one. And Swap's coming in again. Takuna, is he going to go Kiri with this? We'd expect a Kiri with this, especially since he has no coal. Flashpoint unlocks in 
<laughs> dive comes in. Hitori's going to get booped and he's going to get demolished there as well. And the dive hasn't been a good look. It didn't look good on Oasis when they did the swap. Some of that was like the way the map works with Alt Economy when they did the swap. But Zoro's not done yet. He's jumped it. He's gone all in. He's got a trade. And we're actually just maybe turn this into a bit of a dogfight. Crispy's awfully low. Pack's going to get one more trade. Cloud... <laughs> Cloud and Dan in a 1v2. The Javelin's good. They should be okay. Hitori's back, actually. Takuno's going to live. And they can just focus down this Orisa. It will take him a while to kill a horse, but come on. Have any of you tried to kill a horse? It takes ages to kill a horse. You can't just kill it quickly. Give him a chance. So they actually win that dogfight. It was such an ugly dive. Hitori got punished immediately. But it works out nonetheless. And Super Shy have given themselves a chance. Bubble around the corner. Just for a bit of spam. They're going to have Beat here. They're going to have Coalescence soon. So chances to be aggressive. But they have to respect that Crispy has this defensive beat. They're actually going to try and go... They're giving them a loop-de-loop. -loop. They come and land around the TP. Oh, it's a terrible TP from Cloud. They go nowhere. Beat over the top. Crispy does not have a chance to get the defensive beat off. Pack is good for the pulse. Chow wants a pause. Chow wants a pause. Spencer, can we pause? Spencer. Spencer, can we pause? Spencer? Spencer? Somebody call Spencer. I'm going to eat some noodles. Are we just going to have to play on? We're just going to have to play on. Play. Shockwave says play. May come out. Cloud's going to get caught. Oh, it's an ugly beat actually from Crispy. Oh no. A bit of a disaster at the worst possible time. Coalescence of Primal used. And oh, that's a horrible way to lose for point. Where are the admins when we need them? Mm. That's a tough one to lose. And now, now they're on round point. As we move over to, looks like point B. B is for bridge. That's how we know it's point B. All the ults coming back aside from that B. And they are out, they are out of options here, really, Super Shy. So they're just going to go aggressive and kill Cloud before anything happens. They've caught him napping. Terror Surge catches everyone. No kills, though, from Dan. They try and push back. Shockwave does now have the high ground. So Shockwave can kind of take over. High noon. Pack's going to go touch point, actually. He's looking for something. Nothing to be found, though. Cloud has this, has this wall if he needs it. Shockwave. Oh, he gets lamped. Happy to force that lamp out for free. Now they can keep putting the pressure on. Going to try and rotate back to the high ground. Dan's going to walk up the other side. And now Shockwave is swinging. Windows use. And Super Shy will slow it down. We're going to try and play through point, I think, instead here. Coming underneath. Still a bit of this window left. Now the TP. Dive comes out. Sim will defensively. They can hold on to the point. Magnetic Grenade is good onto Zoro. Forces him back. Headshot. Good. There we go. Shockwave taking over. He's on the high ground. They should be able to clean up all these kills. They did... The, the silver lining here for Super Shy is they were able to bleed out quite a few of those ults, right? Like the high noon came out, the window came out, the wall came out. And they had no ults, so they're going to get one kind of rush retake, but they'll have the Coalescence and they'll have... They'll have the Primal for it. Now coming back. They have to factor in a touch here as well, Super Shy. But it should be easy enough. Pack's going to get that touch. He has to be careful of the turrets on the other side of the bridge. Initial jump is booped back and Dan's going to meet to match point. TP is there if they need to disengage. They're going to try and do it, but Shockwave's too slow. They get forced out of a choke. And honestly, they give the flip here. It's not the end of the world for X Oblivion. They still have a chance for a retake. Tori's going to juggle Cloud back in. Still a lamp to play with. Crispy thinks he can win it. They kill Pack. It's 4v4 as Dan advances to point. Sobek nearly has the beat and they might need it sooner rather than later. They're going to come back in. Exo get the flip again. Zoro's got one. Maybe they don't need to use beat now. Maybe Sobek can hold. Overclock. Terra Surge comes out. They should just be okay. Maybe optimistic from Dan in the end. Zoro will clean all of that up. And Sobek's going to die. But most importantly, most importantly, Sobek saves that beat. So that was a lot of the big ults obviously committed there for X Oblivion. They're going to come back with High Noon and Window, which, you know, they're still ultimates, right? They're still ultimates. But easy enough to disengage, a bit easier to play around. And if they can just wait out in this window or something or wait out in this High Noon, disengage it, and then re-push with beat, they might feel good. 
They might obviously just try and use the beat aggressively here. They're going to TP just down to point. Hack is going to drop. They're going to bubble him off. Window in main now as well. Can they just wait out the window? Oh, Hitori cannot wait out the window. The downside of the Moira. And now they're going to beat 4v5. They're doubling down. They want to win it now. The Pulse Bomb's saved by the Lamp. Shockwave is still low. He's going to get one more. And oh... Not the beat push they ultimately wanted. They still commit it anyway. And now we're going to go 2-2. Two to two. We'll be going to everyone's favorite place. The Wills Workshop. Point D. And it looks like it's going to be... Especially thanks to the TP. It's going to be X Oblivion. Coming out onto this high ground first. No ults to dive with here. Tekuno is now on the Kiri, which feels like it probably... Probably just fits a little bit better. Means they're low on ults for a while, though. Next ult up is probably Cloud Simwall. So we'll just have to be a dogfight. Hitori's going to try and force point first. Dan's going to be pulled that way. Zoro's just going to be fishing. Pack's in on... Pack's, Pack is in on Kaneo, actually. Kaneo's having a, a bit of bother with this Tracer. Sobek's considering joining him as well. Hitori's going to jump in, but he takes so much damage for it. Suzu to try and get him out here. He's trying to run... They're desperately going to peel him up. SimTP as well. They force everyone out. Zoro has a big angle right now, but he's awfully separated. And here comes Crispy and Kanael. Zoro's going to try and slide away. Takuno's got the pocket. They've sort of managed to stabilize. Have they killed Shockwave somehow in all of this? It's an absolute dogfight, but X Oblivion have a point. So important decision here on whether they choose to commit. Pack's going to be back soon and it'll be 4v4. Hitori's going to take the high ground. Nearly has this primal. X Oblivion are giving him respect, giving him a bit of space. Hitori going to jump in now. Nearly has it. Now he wants to drop the primal. Bap, nowhere to go. The beat is there. The beat is there. Kaneo is gone. He's off the map though. Can he get the sim off the map now as well? Just kills it. Two for Hitori and it might be enough. Now onto the Lucio too. And Hitori's done it. The retake will be good. They'll finish up these last two on point. No trades to be had, and they got it for just Primal. Good Primal. Seventy-four percent though. So if they lose a fight here, if they lose a fight here, Super Shine, the retake's really hard. Really hard. It'll be very scuffed touch. Holding onto this high ground for now. Hitori lurking below. They have a Kitsune Rush beat just behind it. No defensive beat for him just yet. Dan can obviously use this Terra Surge as a, a bit of a defensive one. But might just start with Window here, X Oblivion. Chance to beat through the Window for Super Shy. Or they choose to wait it out. Just trying to play slowly. Poke Dan off this one. Zoro's got a good angle on him. And Dor uh, Dan's going to be forced back. Now rail onto Kaneo. We might have to lamp soon. They come in. Shockwave lamp is good. Held onto that one for a while. Kitsune rush over the top. They crush him with it though. They crush him. High noon was used in all of that too. And now Dan has to reset. Oh my god. This touch. It took slightly too long. It took slightly too long. Oh, the touch is so awful. It's up to, it's up to Crispy. Make a move, Crispy. Make a move. He's going for it. He gets through. Crispy's got it. Crispy's good for one. He dies for it. Can anyone follow it next? Now it's on to Dan. Dan has to try and give a touch next. No. Super shy win. 2-2. Two, two. We're going to map five. We're going to map five. Oh my god. Woo -wee. Upset on the cards. Map number five. I just saw JK in chat. JK approving the Hitori Primal from that last fight. And honestly, they did well. They won a couple of fights they didn't uh, really wouldn't be expected to. They just sort of clutched out. And uh, overall, the ult use. And honestly, like, I didn't. I didn't enjoy. I don't think Takuna should have stayed on Moira for as long. Um, would like to see the Kiri earlier. The Kitsune Rush is so powerful. And even, even like, they kind of messed up in that B fight, right? You know, the one where, like, um, you know, it's like bridge. And then, like, Hitori ended up jumping here. And just because he's Moira's top left, but Moira just can't do anything to pocket him up. Whereas uh, Kiri could, like, TP to him, Suzu him, all of this. Um, so, really, really would have liked to see um, the Kiri swap sooner. But I guess it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. They won anyway. One, anyway. Obviously, it, it is worth talking a little bit about that pause situation. That second... Was it second point? Maybe it was third point? 
Um, it was point, uh, point E, the big open one. Because what... It's like such an awkward time. Such an awkward time. We're getting the... Um... <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, you guys have just caught up to live. So yeah, the problem, the problem with that one is what you have is... <laughs> because um, Super Shy, so this isn't the exact point. That's the point, right? Then this is like the little doorway and then this is like the way the attackers will be or the retakers will be coming from. Because of the way Super Shy were playing, they were looking to go aggressively in this area and hit them early all the time. They wanted to dive them early, right? Which is a pretty effective strategy. We saw it be successful for them. But the problem is, because X Oblivion needed a pause as they walked into this area, they realized obviously at a point that it's like 76% on the top and they can't fucking wait for the pause. They can't wait for the pause, because if they wait for the pause, the pause is going to come after the time when they can touch. So as a result, <laughs> they have to just they have to just start making a move. But because they say, fuck it, just play, we have to play, they say that, they start walking forward, and obviously, they just get absolutely smashed by the early hit. Um, so, uh, I just, yeah. I think X Oblivion will feel hard done by because of that. I think they really will. And we're going to Junkertown to settle it. Junkertown to settle it, huh? Hold on, sorry. Bear with me. Bear with me. He fixed an error. Right, sorry, Solomon's fixed an error for me. So hopefully, um. Let me just go to this and then to this. And then hopefully that should have fixed it. Uh, 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 I think that's worked. I don't know what the error... <laughs> Solomon was telling me there was an error, but I didn't see it. So uh, hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully it's fixed. I trust him. I trust him. Ready for battle. Right. Locking in, right? Locking in. Junkertown. Junkertown and it's crunch time. Junkertown and it's crunch time. It's going to be dive. We've seen this dive go both ways, right? We've seen... We've seen Ex-Oblivion stomp him. Stomp him on Esperanza. And we've also seen a pretty comfortable Parisio for for the side of Super Shy. And that's exactly what we're going to get here. We're going to get Vianna Brig versus Kiri Lucio. Five, four, Initial three, sniper shots. Let's see it, Zoro. You good for one? You good for one? Let's see it. Checking all the obscure angles. Don't know what they're playing against yet. See the Kiri. Confirm a comp. Just a body shot. Zora's going to walk out. They're going double sniper? Surely Pack's going back to spawn. Double sniper and a brig? Anna Ilari? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? X Oblivion are going to be slow. They don't need to do anything until most. You'll see most teams not really do anything until they get to this line here. Dan will go for a little bit of a jump. We'll trade with Reiner, but it's actually Shockwave if he finds me having a pick. I really expect Pack to come back on Tracer or something now. I really don't know about this. We're going to dive Zoro as well, force him back into spawn. Pack is sticking for Hanzo. Shockwave's going to be forced all the way out, but Nail actually catches Kanael, so he has to, he has to Suzu defensively, but they are okay. Still trying to work their way in this left-hand side. They've got Zoro with the angle on the, well, the top of our screen from where we're looking. It's always going to try and take space, but obviously it's really awkward for him because he's not got all that much space. So Beck's going to try and walk through left. He misses his heal on pylon by a mile. We're just going to dive and kill the snipers and... 
Why have super? Surely we're gonna see swaps, right? Like, I get keep a widow if you want, right? But surely we're gonna see Tracer now. Yeah, Tracer Cass is coming out. They've successfully wasted a minute and a half of their own time, but they will now have the Nano at least. So a couple of options here with the Nano you can do. I guess the classic where you just drop it onto Hitori and see how well his dive can go, or you can even drop it onto Zoro. Cass is very strong in these matchups; can really be turbocharged. We'll see where it goes. Nade onto Dan. They just catch him. Doesn't have Primal Susan on there to save him. They might not even need the Nano. Good Nade from Takuno. They're going to clear out the rest of the point. They're forcing it. Cloud can touch if they want, but it's a 4v5 touch. And X Oblivion are just going to concede for space. So despite an ugly start, an ugly start, an ugly start, it does work out quite nicely. They're going to hold this choke quite aggressively here. It's always going to jump up. Nano's still available if he wants to go with it, but they can probably just keep forcing the point for now. They still have a Lari, which I'm still not super convinced about. I don't know what if it's doing that much. It means they have the Captive Sun, right? So see if the facts uh, Suzu's a good counter to the Captive Sun, but still a lot to play around. Tatori's got behind him now. We'll force Crispy forward. Shockwave's gonna try and walk onto everything. Kitsune rush on the point. Zoro has got that nano on him as well, so he's just gonna try and tank everything. Getting pressured. Has to DP. Will get focused down. It's a two. It's a two for two trade. Dan's got three. Hitori's got two. Half a half the server is dead. Hitori's now stuck behind. Can he jump out? They're chasing him. They should be able to kill him. Cloud and Crispy are coming with it too. They will get the cleanup. Even though they technically win the fight, they're ex-oblivion because of the trades and the way respawns work. They will actually be able to get out of this choke. Maybe, maybe quite quickly. Maybe not just because it's like Anna Brig actually. Kiri Lucio are back so fast, so they can still hold his choke quite aggressively. Really difficult to get the Anna Brig space here on the retake. And really, really difficult if your Brig gets pulse bombed as well. So they're going to have to reset again. Still three minutes on the clock. Not close to any of the big ults here. Just DPS ults here for Super Shy. Those, those ults can't really help you get through this choke all that consistently. Meanwhile, X Oblivion can keep holding close, and if they if they spot Vianna Brig in killable distance, they can just press the beat and run over him. They're going to try and come underneath. Takuno. Takuno and Serbek want to rotate. They go underneath. We'll go with them. We're on this rotation too. We're going to try and get all the way behind them here. Take the opposite high ground. And Oh, Sobek is separated. Where are we going, Sobek? Oh, he's okay. He's giving them the moves. He's giving up the money moves. Overclock has come out. They're going to lose pack now as well. They have to try and regroup in this room, but Zoro is taking a wide swing. Double pack onto Zoro. Where is he going? They tried to rotate underneath, and the car hadn't really moved, and they're just going to get cleaned up. And the worst part of this all, the worst part of this all is they didn't really get any ults out of X Oblivion here. They got the overclock out, but they would have loved to get one of those support ults out as well. So now Kitsune Rush and B, and these are the, these are the big ults that are really hard for an Anna Brig to deal with. Now if the Anna Brig take any sort of step too far here or here, or even if they try and go underneath here, there's a great chance to beat or Kitsune Rush on top of them and just crush them. Not many great ways to survive, so we have to try and play a little bit more free point, I think, initially here. Maybe even go low ground, even though it feels maybe a bit counterintuitive, because you want your Anna Brig on high ground. Zoro is on Widow as well, but... Oh, he's gone Sojin now, actually. He's gone Sojin. Hitori's going to get focused down. Has to pop in his primal. Wants to try and juggle someone in. He's going to cause some chaos, but he's getting focused down awfully quickly. Beat over the top to make sure they all survive. And it's going to be a back step again. Hitori and Pax trying to take a lot of space. And Zoro and Sobek are still really far pushed up. And that's left Takuno isolated in the back. They're going to dive on him. But Pax's not enough to save him. Zoro's going to try and move towards the point. But now he's just going to get overwhelmed. Rally's going to be used by Sobek. Don't know about this one. It's made a bit... I mean, it's sort of stabilized him, but they can't save Hitori. They're just going to get stuffed at this choke again, and it really, uh, it really feels like Super Shy are out of ideas for how to crack this hold. Really feels like they're out of ideas, and X Oblivion. 47 seconds away from a very, very good hold. Takuno will have this nano. They're going to try and just rotate again. Pulse bomb! Oh, it's on the shield, I think, but it kills Zoro anyway. Now they're in a desperate, desperate situation. Sobek is going to get nanoed. Oh, no, the nades eaten. The nades eaten by Hitori, but Sobek is alive. They've stabilized. They've killed Cloud. Dan has primal, though. No sleep for Takuno. He will go down. Dan can look for more. Kitsune Rush drops on point as well. They're going to die, and there's going to be 20 seconds left. Pack is actually behind here. Pack's going to drop the pulse bomb. <laughs> he drops it onto Dan, and Dan jumps into Pack. 
murders himself with his own pulse bomb in the end. And now an overclock from Shockwave just wants to end it here. Just wants to end it. They're trying to come out. I don't know if... I mean, they are getting the touch here. But can't they haven't even gained a few meters out of all things. Zoro's going to try and jump through as well. Hitori will be killed on point. No one can get the next touch, I do not think. And X Oblivion with a very, very, very comfortable hold ultimately. And now, they need a little bit of magic, right? A little bit of magic. They need a lot of things to go their way. There's probably a, there's a decision here as well. I think they still take the dive mirror. I think um, I think you keep taking the dive mirror. It's probably a bit easier on defense. If you do something where you have like, if you want to do Anna Brig, you have your Anna Brig here. You could even have your Widow up here or up here or something. Um, you have to be careful for you all in dive, but I feel like that's maybe your best option. I don't know if there's, because obviously this building's new, right? This building's new. I don't know if there's a way you can just play your Anna Brig here, maybe. Your brig plays here or something. Maybe your Anna plays here. I don't know. Your Anna plays here. Your brig can play a little bit closer, maybe. Pack your tracer on this side. I don't know. There's probably a way to use this building a little bit to your advantage, but I'm just spitballing here. The big the big problem the big problem for for them was this part of the map. They couldn't give their Anna Brig any space up here. They were able to get space underneath. And I think, honestly, they should have just played a lot more through point. They have to play really slow. The setup they had where they had, like, Anna back here and Winston Tracer Force in point, even though it's scary because they're above you here, it's still okay, right? Because you've got a pretty good peel situation. And then hopefully your Winston Tracer can always, like, your Winston can come back if he really needs. It's not easy for sure. But I think they wasted too much time trying to come top. And we're going to get an initial grapple. Zoro is on the Widow on his defense. Sobek's on the Zen as well. What if Sobek... What if Sobek just orbed Crispy? So Zen and a Widow. A very powerful but a very greedy set of heroes. So you have to really wonder how does this Anna Zen Widow survive when X Oblivion get close enough to dive? If they can get close enough, they're in big trouble. And Dan's just going to kill the Widow. So the answer is they don't survive so far. Nadon to Dan chases him out. Hitori wants to go for more. Has to be careful here. Jumping into the whole X Oblivion. They're going to slow it down. Sobek and Takuno in this house. Here comes Cloud. Here comes Dan. They go different ways. Takuno and Sobek. They're going to bubble them off. A split in the back line. A divide in the British back line. And X Oblivion are going to get a very easy first point. Very easy. And this is going to mean a very big time back for second. No ults just yet. They've got the cap. Five minutes, 20 seconds. It's going to take a Herculean effort here from Super Shy. They've come so far. They do get a sleep onto Dan. They can maybe force him out here at the least. They don't get the kill. They're going to have to top up Hitori and go again. Sobek's trying to play in his top right inside. Has to be careful. Dan's looking for an opportunity to go, maybe. They've managed. Managed to stabilize for now. But they have to hold. They have to dig their heels in. As hard as they've ever dug their heels in before. Cloud is lurking behind. Nearly has a pulse bomb. Do they know Cloud is coming? I don't think they know. Okay, they look for him now, actually. Zoro's going to force him back. And now the whole Exo backline's looking to flank. They're all coming top left. Looks like they're aware of it here. They get the rotation. Hitori's going to drop a bubble at Choke. Has the primal as well. We'll juggle them all out. Shockwave is 1 HP. B over the top. Both support ops committed. They're trying to disengage here. Desperately super shy. They're low. The defensive nade is there for Val. Sobek's going to cop. But Nano has the transcendence as well. He's trying. They're trying to separate him. They keep him in a corner. Let Sobek. Let Sobek out. Now they're going to get finished off. And that could just be it. They're going to kill Pack on point. Pack's going to try and live and play for another touch. But Cloud's hunting him down. Knail's with him as well. They'll catch him. And now, desperation time for Super Shy. Desperation time. Oh, Pulse Bomb is good on from Cloud. Zoro's going to go for it. He can't get the touch. It's GG's. And despite, despite a big effort there from Super Shy, ultimately, the last map wasn't that close. The Esperanza of a Junker Town, these final two dive mirrors seemed very much, very much strongly in favor of... Um, of X Oblivion. But you have to say, happy, happy, honestly, like, still respects to Super Shy. Um, I imagine they're going to now play Smungus in the elimination game. And I think they should be okay for that one. They should be okay for that one. Um, let me see. 
Let me see what's happening now, because I, I, my presumption is this was the last game, right? Um, also, yeah, hit me with a code word as well, but yeah. Presumption is this is the last game. Uh, for EMEA, of course, I mean. Or well, of, of this round, is, is what I really mean. Um, where's my browser? Let's see. Here? All right. I'll do a refresh. And we're going to get Ataraxia also won. X Oblivion just about won. Peps won as expected. D'Impero won as expected as well. So all the results in these opening two rounds go as planned. Now, that means the rest of the games are going to be tomorrow. And we're going to be... Um, we're going to be moving on to North America. But let's not move on too quickly. I think, yeah, credits are super shy. Super shy when they got in this group. The expectation was always that super shy were going to be um, ultimately eliminated. I think... Um, I think... GG's from Pack as well. There we go. There we go. What does Vada mean? <laughs> Should I see if Shockers wants to come on? Let's see. See if I can get a post game. So yeah, has to be has to be a painful one for EXO. And honestly, I think if I look at Super Shy, they probably didn't expect to get out of this group given that X Oblivion and SSG were in it. Um... <laughs> oh, okay. I think I think X Oblivion might be vodding. <laughs> yeah, X Oblivion um are vodding, I think. They need to uh they need to review uh review the um <laughs> review how they got themselves in that situation. So it feels like we might be deprived of a post game interview, unfortunately. Um But I don't know. Good game. Good series, right? I think we we clearly picked the right series, you know, we clearly picked the right series given everything. Um I'm glad everyone got to watch it as well. I hope everyone enjoyed enjoyed the stream. We're going to keep going for North America as well. So stick around if you want to see North America. Um, overall feelings, we should. I, I want to kind of wrap up um, wrap up EMEA a little bit before we move on. Um... <laughs> so I think honestly, the only the only result of note was this one, right? Um, I think everything else, I would have predicted 3 O's. Honestly, even this one, I would have predicted maybe like a 3-0 or a 3-1. Um, I think if we look ahead to tomorrow, I think there's a lot of interesting... Because these games are all... Are they all at different times now? Yes, yeah, so we're going to see all of these games. So, SSG versus X Oblivion. Honestly, I don't know how close that one will be. I don't know how close it will be now. Smungus versus Super Shy. That's gonna be that's gonna be a good game as well. Ensv Peps. I don't know. I, I think Peps. I think Peps will just be um. Whoa! Thank you, Raitu. If any of the other, if any, there are any other European, European players are lurking in chat, I will happily have you on if you want to do a post-game interview for any of your games, whether we watched them or not, whether we watched them or not. Happy to have anyone on who was a, um, who was a EMEA player. Hold on, let me just get, I need some more light. I feel like I'm in the dark, you know? Oh! Get Junior in. Um, what was I saying? So, North America. So, it, it's. I think they're going to try and move it forward a little bit. Um, going to try and move it forward a little bit. 
So let's, uh, we'll talk about more of these fixtures. Because I think Sheer Cold Ioma, I don't really know about that one. I'm not sure how interesting it'll be. And this one I'm really interested in, actually. How close can D'Impero get to Twisted Minds? How close can they get to Twisted Minds? I imagine they still, they won't win, right? I really don't think they'll win. I think the gap in, the gap in quality, the, the quality of players Twisted Minds have is really, um, really strong. <laughs> really strong, so they won't win. But I'm interested to see how close they get, you know. A lot of time for D'Impero. We, we raided OC last night. Um... Hold on, I'm getting a notification. I think they... Sorry. Um, and then in Group D, Peace and Love versus Ataraxia. And this is like a grudge match. A Beak versus Sauna again. Really excited. And this is probably... Honestly, like I know SSG and X Oblivion are playing tomorrow, but this game will be the game of the day. Is it tomorrow? It's, oh, sorry, it's Sunday. My apologies, it's Sunday. But this will be the game, honestly, game of a weekend in EMEA. Um, a beak interview? We can get a beak on. There's a little bit of a problem because we're working with a delay. <laughs> but we can get people on. Where is he? I have all my friends. <laughs> when do the NA matches start? I need to I need to find out if they're rolling forward. Um where are we? Let's see. Um Not sure what are we? Error was behind of it. Fix it. <laughs> um No if NA is getting rolled. Uh, 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 hold on. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out the schedule thing while we do this. Um, rolled forward for NA. So let me, let me figure out that. <laughs> European, I'm a European plat player down for an interview. Not quite what I had in mind. Crispy's going to give you nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck pack. So close. So close and yet so far. Need an explanation of that. Need an explanation of that Junkertown comp on attack, though. Um, oh. Your English is so bad. French? Fuck. Fuck. Welcome to have anyone on from Super Shy if they want. <laughs> anyone who may be... Surely one of the backline has a, a bit more of a robust command of the English language. <laughs> uh, uh, um, am I missing anything? Let's see. <laughs> but yeah, I think Super Shy should be happy with themselves. Obviously, I think like the last map was a, a bit of a... It was like a... It was like a sad way to lose it, right? A bit of a soft way to lose it, but I think a respectable showing. Um, I think they, they get past Mungus for sure, right, in this elimination match, and then maybe they get another shot for probably another shot at XO. Okay, Pack. <laughs> Wait, let me message a beak. You'll get him next time. Wait, should I message to Kuno? Where is he? Zoro can do interview. If Zoro's game, I'll have him. I'll have Hitori. I'll take anybody. <laughs> anybody will be acceptable. Surely someone's got gotten out of Bowdoin, right? 
Uh, all right, Takuno's. Let me um, hold on. Let me invite him to Discord. Hold on. Let me just get him in. All right, we got Takuno. We got Takuno. Uh, let's see. Invite people. Takuno. Let's see. Join general voice and can drag. All right, I think we got him. I think we got him. Hopefully, um, let's see. Is my name... My name's popping up. So hopefully soon... I'll be joined by Takuno. Hey, yeah, uh, you all right? Uh, hello, hello. I'm doing good, thank you. How are we feeling, Ben? What's the what's the post game vibe? Honestly, we're still having fun. Like, even though we lost, it was still a close game. Maybe the last map could have gone a bit better, but you know, we don't. We'll work on that. We'll look over it. <laughs> we're doing chill. Like we're chilling. What was the was the expectation this beforehand? When you like saw this fixture as your opening game, did you think it would be close or you'd be competitive or? Um, when we first when we first saw a group, we were like, oh, you know, for fuck's sake, if I can swear. Um, <laughs> <You> can't, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were like, ah, oh, you know, damn it. But then afterwards, we were like, actually, let's work really hard. Let's like put in a rule. Like the scrims we've had, well, we haven't really had many scrims this week, but we had like a ton of officials, especially with the Esports World Cup like qualifying. Um, face it tournaments. So we've just been practically using that also as like scrim time. And we expected that we can actually win or put up a really good fight against EXO. Like we were really confident coming in. And we've like proven it to ourselves that we can do it and we just need to work harder. Yeah, well I think I think you I think you showed it to be fair, right? I don't know if like Yeah. Um did you know? Because obviously you guys have to do the map picks and bans right before before the series even really starts, right before map one. So you picked maps two and four, right? Like Parisio yes. and New Junk City. So were you, when you pick Parisio, then you seem quite confident that you want to take it to a dive mirror at some point in this series. Um. Yeah, we're like, I mean, our obviously we've got Hitori as a main tank. He's known for his monkey. He's like really good in my eyes. Um, Sobek is really good at Brig. And then Pack on Tracer, you know, he, he, he can do whatever you want. Um, but with Parry Easter, that was our first time picking it during any tournament. But we were very confident going into it anyways. Yeah, I mean, it worked out as well. Even though we saw, like, yes. maybe some... Don't see a lot of Ash these days, but it worked out okay. Um, True. Zoro, Zoro's Dynamites were really good at marking Echo when they were playing that. So I feel like we played it really well. What do you think then was the big difference when we get onto Esperanza, right? Because we, we get Dive Mirror again, but then all of a sudden this this doesn't look this doesn't look good at all, oh, right? Oh, Esperanza. Hmm, that was an interesting map to play, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, that I, I'm not sure what to say. We just we weren't really synced up on that on Esperanza. It was like uh, all over the place mainly. Like we had our plans, we had our ideas, but then uh, we don't we just weren't really there for it for some reason. But yeah, that didn't stop us from moving on to the next map afterwards. Yeah, what was... Because obviously, then we get into like the weird situation in Junkertown, right? Where Chow asked for a pause, but then unfortunately, <laughs> no admin to be seen. And it's this like yeah, awkward situation um... where y you guys were like waiting to hold forward and like go early. But it's so awkward to go early when like what's the like ethical decision when they're asking for a pause and stuff. And eventually Shockwave said play and they just win it. But like, what, what was... What was going through the comms then when you're like holding close, but then they're asking for pause and all of this? Um, no one was thinking about the plan or the game. We were all just like, does Chow not know that we can't pause? Like someone has to DC or something because yeah. none of us know how to pause other than forcefully like DCing. Yeah. But we haven't done, we haven't done that. But like we've seen like other teams do it or like we've seen like a actual DC happen and it pauses. So we were just like, talking to each other like oh do we go do we not like does he know just and then when they said play then that's when we got back into like oh time to play now you know yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah it worked out yeah yeah it's more yeah. a problem with the system and then we go to junker town and this this is maybe where you have to do your most explaining because you guys attack first right and we're on we see double we start on like widow hands and i'm like sure we're gonna hit a grapple maybe a sonic 
And you stay on it for a little mm -hmm. bit, and I'm like, well, okay, if a cart's going to move for first X amount to the final corner anyway, maybe just keep it. But then we keep we keep the double sniper Alari. So is this like, is this pre-planned? What's the idea behind this? So it was very unfortunate. We've we've like up until now we've always banned Junker Town um, okay. because we we did suck at it. But uh, when we came into it, we tried to cook something up on the spot, see how it went. Didn't go too well, especially pushing second point after capping first. That did. That was a. That was a bit sad moment, but we're gonna like look over it and see how we can improve and what actual plans we want to do. Yeah, it felt like that's because even over first the comp on first was a bit weird. It didn't actually really cause you a problem, right? Because then you swapped and we actually you capped with decent time, so it was more of a second attack. Yeah, you just got stuck in that choke for forever. Yeah, exactly. We just struggled to even get through the choke. Like we tried flipping the map one time, but then um. We didn't exactly like have synced uh, engage afterwards. Like our cast or like Zorio still wanted to rotate to high ground so we can high noon, but the rest of us were like already fighting, so we didn't have that damage coming in. So that was like unfortunate timing and miscommunication on where we wanted to take the fight after flipping. But afterwards, we just yeah, I don't know. We just really didn't know how to take it. Yeah, I think the nature is. Like, playing the Anna Brig version of the dive means you kind of need, like, better souls for a lot of these situations, especially when you don't have space. Yes. With Kiri Lucio, you can kind of just, like, ah, oh, fuck it, we'll just stand up and choke, right? And if we just hold here and do whatever the alt trade we want to be, you can kind of just yeah. be okay, you know? Whereas Anna Brig, you need, like, a... Here's how we're going to, like, pull them this way, then move them out here so our backline can actually exactly. get in. So, but, what's... Yeah. Other, other than those two maps, it was I think it was fine. Like, Espenza and Junkertown, I think we actually took them off guard a lot and, you know, played them, like, beat them a lot. So, then we get your your match, is it tomorrow? Is that right, for 13th? Yeah, 14th? What day is it today? Sunday. Sunday, Sunday we have our game. Against Smungus. Uh, so, yes. what's, the, what's the current worry level? Any concern here, or we think this should just be, like, a, a slam dunk? Um... We're not that we're not concerned, but then we're not gonna like underestimate uh, underestimate them because even though they are like a mix of streamers, we're still gonna treat them like an actual team. Like there's no point in like not treating any team as if they're like not a team, you know. Um, if that made any sense. So we're just gonna like respect them and play our own game, do our own thing, you know, have our own plans, and uh, we're confident that we will win that one. And then, if we look a step ahead, presuming everything goes as planned, the most likely case is a rematch against X Oblivion, right? Um, yes. So how are you? How do you feel now? Because obviously, one thing that sort of happens when you get close but don't quite beat them is now, in case X Oblivion were maybe not taking you as seriously as maybe they should have done, they are hundred percent going to take you very seriously the next time, right? I know they they actually refused an interview because they were going straight into VOD the game, so. How do you oh, feel wow. about that? Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about that? You seem to have gotten you've gotten rattled, right? To say the least, they seem a little yeah, bit rattled. Yeah, you know, they're they're going straight into the VOD, so they're <laughs> so they're not happy with what with the score that they got today. That's good to know. If they're yeah. gonna step up their game, then so are we. Like next time if we play against each other, we won't be the same team as the game we just played. So I'd say bring it on. Yeah. And I guess there's also like a bit of a caveat to that, as if that if everything goes as planned out is for rematch, it's also going to happen post-patch yes. as well. So there's going to be a, a real sort of element of chaos maybe thrown into that one as well. True. Well, yeah, off... as I've said, I'll go on. If they're going to, if they're, sorry, if they're already going to, if they're already in the VOD and they go step at their game, <laughs> bring it on. Like, I, 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 lo I love good games. Good games are so fun to play. I, I just love it. Yeah, no, I think certainly your game was the best game of the day. And now, because of how nuts gone, for next weekend, if we get the rematch, you probably sort of teed it up to be, like, the big match of the next weekend as well. So I think, yep. I think everyone very happy with how it turned out. Well, give or take a result or a map five, but I think you should be should be pretty <laughs> happy with that. No, we, we are definitely happy with uh, how we played today. We'll look over, like, uh, what we've done wrong, and then we'll come back way stronger. One one last one before I let you go. How often do you guys nice. get to play? Because Ex Oblivion are essentially, even though they're unsalaried, they're essentially like they're a full time team. You know, do you, 
do, yeah. do you match that then or how much how much do you guys scrim on like an average week or something um on an average week i think we try and scrim every day um but uh sometimes it is with a couple of ringers because i myself and a couple of others we have like uni um as well um at the same time so sometimes like the past couple of, like for example the past couple of weeks hitori he's had exams to study for and he's had his exams like yesterday and like everything like that um i've had assignments to come in zoro's also had school so a lot of us have like be a patchy schedule coming like coming up to over CS stage two but we still get good practice in whenever we do scrim and we also just change and learn during officials as we go like i i think that's a good part about super shy no matter like during the officials we still learn and we change so that's good i think especially as we go into a new patch having that kind of like open-minded mentality for like things might need to change or even yeah. change quite dramatically as you go across and deal with a new patch, I think it'll be a big help. Yeah, exactly. All right, then. Thank you very much, Takuno. I do appreciate your time. I'll let you get back to... No worries. Thank you for inviting team. me. I really yeah, appreciate we'll, it. We'll see you see you on Sunday for the Spungus game. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. All right, there we go. Nice to speak to Takuno. They seem in pretty positive spirits. Not as rattled as X Oblivion here. Um, and I guess or, there's a couple of things that we need to figure out, right? And I, I need to figure out the schedule. I've got the salute and face from Solomon, which means I think I fixed the issue. Um, and we need to we need to figure out, obviously, as well, what, um, what we're going to do. I need to eat as well. I need to eat at some point. So what I might do is I might give you a bit of a be right back screen. And then we'll do the NAOWCS. Let me update the title. And then what game do we say we're doing first? We're going to do um, the O3 Splash one. M80 versus O. Oh. O3 Splash. I'm just waiting for confirmation. I'd like to know if they're rolling the schedule forward because that's maybe it changes the amount of break, right? Um. But anyway, anyway, all right. I'll go, I'm going to drop us on a, a be right back screen for a second. Um, I'm going to go get some food. And... And then... And then we'll come back and we'll take a bit of a look at NA, a look at what's happening next, and we'll kind of go from there, okay? So, be right back, and I'll see you guys very soon, and we'll get some of the uh, North American action. 